<laughs> oh, future friends, thank you for tuning into our show. We are Mistakes Being Made, a live play Dungeons & Dragons show from Portland, Oregon. And we have a special announcement for our giveaway. Uh, this week's winner is Violet Perez. Um, and you have won. Way to go, uh, if you're not watching this right now, you will find out tomorrow <laughs> that you have won. Uh, we also have a, a request for a new giveaway next week. Um, someone specifically uh, asked for a giveaway that involves the avatar for the show, uh, Beaky the Owlbear. So we will be giving away a Beaky because I do have one extra uh, that doesn't have googly eyes. You're just going to have to glue <laughs> the googly eyes on yourself. So uh, we will be giving that away next week. Uh, follow Gleam and follow our Twitter to f figure out how to enter for that. Uh, for it, ways to connect with the show, you can follow us at MBMRPG on Twitter. Uh, the pinned tweet has all of our social media. Um, also, uh, when we're posting episodes to uh, YouTube or back on Twitch after they've been removed for the 14-day uh, stream, uh, we're including all of our ways to connect with the show um, on, on that as well. Additionally, we'd like to say thank you to the following individuals and groups who've helped us out over the course of the time to make our show better. Thanks to Axe and Shield for their amazing combat risers. Thanks to Dwarven Forge for their awesome dungeon terrain. And thanks to Sirenscape for their fa fantastic soundscapes. Uh, lastly, we need to I'm meet the players the and their characters. What? Mike, who are you playing tonight? I'm playing Cirque, half orc barbarian, currently the helmsman of our ship, because mm -hmm. that's going to end. <laughs> so far, so good. And Doug? I'm playing uh, Xenos, High Hill, uh, Half Leg Wizard, and Acting Captain of the Ship. Okay. Aaron? I'm Tonight. playing Comstock Remington the Salty, <laughs> first mate of the Tempest, and giving him an accent that now Shad has to abide That's by. That was not. No, it was not. <laughs> I was specifically <laughs> sitting in my head for days at a time. Nice, nice. Adam, who are you playing uh, I am playing Corbin Doretta, Half Elven Warlock. Frank? I am playing Rin, the Furbolg Druid. And I am playing. Everybody's favorite cleric, Cyrus Sorrell, the submerged champion of Umberley. And what's your name? My name's Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Just rolls off the tongue after that if, intro. <laughs> if you can. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, last week, uh, the group fought off uh, a group of aquatic sea devil raiders. Um, they also set up punishments for Mr. Remington and the crew participated in heave and finally they encountered a uh, a group of winged humanoids that uh, inhabited a lighthouse who attempted to trap the ship but retreated into the ship or in, uh, when the ship was more than they could handle um, and I believe we found our favorite joke so far which is a serious case of harpies but we didn't catch any. We did no. not catch any. Uh, it is yet to be determined lot. whether Demons or not you, <laughs> whether is. you Nature's caught harpies or not. So, um, at this ever. point, <laughs> the harpies have retreated into the tower. It might be back in about a week. Then, guys. We they've come <laughs> And you guys <laughs> are able to either pursue them right away move on to something else or um if you wanted to heal take a short rest you can do that right now too we're not hurt we shot i'm them. not hurt <laughs> I, I took, I took did you some damage? damage uh yeah i took four damage actually <laughs> just enough to break the silence <laughs> yeah just enough i took six huh? okay do you so, want to heal i'm good shall we you guys I, do I, have, I think we should continue that you guys do have hit dice if you wanted to take a short rest yeah. Would we like I'm to not continue? advocating for or against. Let's uh, roll. I didn't okay. use any spells or anything. I mean, we got, I, we saw harpies, we scratched yeah. them, and then we moved on. Yeah, um, I used a spell. Rolling on cantrips. Just silence. Okay. Yeah. Are, so, you, are you in there? No, I mean, I've only been... He's only been cantrips. using cantrips. I thought you said roll. <laughs> so, um... I'm rolling deep. How are you guys going to... Are you going to take longboats and go? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Mr. Remington, get the longboats ready. I, I 
Captain. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be entertaining on every level. <clears throat> so you lower the longboats in. I would assume just one longboat, really. Yeah. If it's the group of you, you don't really need to. Well, I mean, one. Captain Zigo might need a second longboat. <laughs> 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 Oh. What if we just get an acting long? <laughs> Solutions to problems. Um, so who's who's gonna be rowing the longboat? <laughs> Why is the well, big guy guessing. always end up rowing the longboat? You long did a real good job last time. Okay, I'll do that. You, you should sit down for I'll this. Mm. Make a strike. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you're. you're I do know. Yeah. 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 I he go. Ties himself do we want to tie him down? You know about him in boats. So we you were playing stay the character in. you roasted earlier. Like it's <laughs> uh, you said strength check? Yeah. That is only a 21. Okay. Plus my size is one size larger for things like rowing. Sure. So we're there. You're fine. <laughs> okay. Fine, fine. Okay. So you pull up. It's, uh, <laughs> it's basically an outcropping um, of like volcanic rock-ish. Uh, that's coming out of the sea. Um, uh, you navigate up the rocky stone. Uh, it is slick with remnants of high tide um, to the base of the tower. Uh, a sturdy wooden door reinforced with metal bands stands partially ajar of the work stone wall. Uh, through the narrow slit in the door, you can see it, uh, and its stone frame, you can see boxes have been stacked up to act as a brace against entry into the base of the tower. Uh, to the right of the uh, door, a lantern burns with continual flame, providing a small amount of light as sun begins to set. So I want to knock. Mr. Well, Remington, can you check the door? It's partially open, right? Yeah. Just open it. When does it stop? It, it stops it almost immediately. Immediately? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try a strength check and see if I can Wait. check it open. Let Umberly guide your strength. Oh, and yeah. I'll go ahead and give you guidance. So just Is he moist now? One deep. Uh, yeah, one he's deep on water. water. He's salty. <laughs> I touched him on his shoulder. He was like already salty. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's, 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 he's so moist. moist. <laughs> okay, uh, you can add your athletics if you're trained in athletics. Athletics, yeah, sure. T -t 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 new character, how to do stuff. Uh, I know that that's at least. T -t -t thank you. Oh, it's the same as the strength. That helps. Uh, 16. 18. Okay, you push it right open uh, because it's... it's Umberly be praised. So, um, you instantly are aware that something is amiss. There's a loud bang followed by the sound of something rolling and then a sh uh, and shattering can be heard before the detonation occurs. Now, um, Rennie, you are outside of this, but everybody else needs to go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw with advantage because of the door. That's oh, my best throw. Okay, my so 15 or... No. I'll, I'll definitely 15. take that one. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh, look! A 20 or a 20. I'm okay. good. Cool. All right. So, anybody not get above a 15? Okay. So, <laughs> nice. Okay. So those who didn't get it above a 15 take 24 fire damage as a fireball goes off. What? Awesome. Right. Well, I'm down. Excellent. OK. And you didn't take any because you're out of the line of fire there. OK. So a fireball just booms off. Awesome. For <clears throat> those that made the save, do we take half, half damage? damage. Yeah. So over. 15? Uh, well, it's, I said 24. So oh, tw 12. 12. OK. 12. So my, my ward absorbs... Your sleepy time? Don't worry, dude. You, you said you had three healing potions. I mean, are you completely out? I'm at zero. Well, you're, uh, yeah, that's how this works. Well, I mean, but who's out? Those two. Those two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's Mr. Remington doing? Oh, fine. Yeah. All right. Damn it. <laughs> what's... what's is, he, I mean, is he hurt? Did he, hmm. did he make... Glad you're okay at all. I took damage. I took half damage. Oh, all right. So he's taking 12. Um, so what are you guys doing now? Um, Take a short rest, I guess. <laughs> for, um, well, you probably want to wake your guys yeah. that are making death saves up. Yeah. Um, it's not me. I'm at zero. Oh, so okay. I'm stable. Well, still, you've got a healing potion that one of us could pour down your throat. Three of them. All right, well, we'll pour one of them down your throat. Okay. Um, Why don't you then, pour one of them down Corvin's throat? We should. Oh, okay. <laughs> Since he's dying. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> Since he's that. rolling death saves. I'm Sir, assuming that's what you're doing, right? Get a, uh, okay. Healing potion hey, for Corbin. Yeah, we're gonna heal you. Okay. 
I go give him a healing potion. So, uh, Remington, do you want to open the door? Well, there's not much of a door left yeah, at this point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we blew it open. So, inside, there's just tons of what used to be boxes of stuff that they had stored down here. Um, it is now burned beyond recognition. Um, it seemed like a fair amount of goods that they had collected. Way to go, Remington. Uh, there was also just a... Just orders, Captain. There was also a bucket that is pretty badly mangled um, and inside it, it had some kind of a glass bead that it was resting on top of the door. <laughs> so what are you guys going to do? Uh, so you gave him a healing potion? Mm -hmm. Okay. And he, is he up? Yeah, we gave him a healing potion too. No, oh, you gave him? me one? Excellent. Yeah. You well, no, I pour one of yours down oh, your throat. Okay, all right. <laughs> What's the healing on the potion? It's 2d4 plus 2. 2d4? 2d4 plus 2. Excellent. And the lesson for the viewers at home is always check for traps. <laughs> Who's the rogue? I'm pretty sure that the closest thing you have to a rogue is Xenos. <laughs> but he uh, didn't want to open the door. It's true. Oh. My perception well, is not very good. Who's got the perception? That's, yeah, yeah, I don't have perception. That would have been me. The guy standing in the back. The yeah. guy that's far away from the door as possible. I kind of got Survival perception. of the fittest. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the, did you, I get it now. <laughs> did you put the minis in that order? No, they were there. I set the minis up, and then you guys could have put them however you want. I actually set them up with Xenos closest to the door, and he was like, no, no, no. No, no I didn't move myself much. You had Cirque closest to the door. Oh, yeah, that's true, because I figured Cirque would be making the strength check to open the door. Yeah, but I wasn't going to sacrifice Cirque. It is I need Sirens to do a better job of the fantastic Sirens game. Don't take it personally. Do you want, do you want me to I don't take it personally. Yeah, that's just annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I'll do oh, a better job. Mr. Remington is salty. Sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so can we take ten minutes? Uh, well, it's an hour to take a short rest, not ten minutes. Oh, we're doing a short rest? I don't know. Well, I mean, going. you can take ten minutes if you want. Well, what I'm do gonna, you want to do? Well, I want to do a prayer of healing in the camp. It takes ten minutes to do it. Okay. Because that'll heal up to six of us. Okay. 2D8. How much? Okay. 2d8 plus um, five, I guess. That sounds pretty good. Seems like a good idea. So as you're doing your prayer, yeah, you hear some chuckles from the tower. Excellent. Iesu Domine, Donae Ispe. We'd have to pay for that. Is it more like... Make your roll. Excellent. That's nine health. To wait in ten minutes. To everybody or just... To anybody that needed it. There's You know what? For nine health, I'll give you... You only had to wait nine minutes for that. Just oh, a, a minute per. Excellent. That is fantastic. I'm ready to go. Okay. I'm, I'm only more than half a now. Eh, I'm only down one. All right. I am down three whole hit points. All right. So what's going on? What are you guys doing? So the door is open. I'm going to body slam. Um, the room. barrels that were next to the door are removed. Because okay. they're destroyed. Right. Um, well. I will go ahead and mark off um, the what, what that hey, was. Don't treasure. do that again. I'm following orders. Who's well, going first? Stupidly. Next time, check for traps. Okay, Captain. Thanks for pointing that out. You're welcome. Idiot. I am a trained trapsmith. That was a lie. <laughs> 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 it's a good thing that our first officer is right. so Salty. smart. All right. I'm so glad we brought it says that it guy. On the name. I'm playing him salty. Part of his thing. I'm playing it salty. <laughs> You are salty. There's another t-shirt right there. <laughs> so, what's going on, it. fellas? Um, well, I'm just going to go in the door. Yeah, okay. let's go inside. You walk in. I've already been burned. <laughs> in his last it. words, I'm just going in because I've already been burned. Okay. <laughs> Was that so before or after it the It is a uh, wide base tower. It's got uh, it one, one, one stair uh, way up. And there are, appears to be about... Um, well, make, uh, make so an insight pimp. check. Mm -hmm. insight. Or wisdom. And salty. And salty? If you don't, if you don't You're salty? Uh, Nine. Nine. Okay. Um, you, it's a lot of stuff that's destroyed. We're making insight Eight checks? 
18? Yeah, and so about also, you, two, you would estimate that there used to be about 2,000 gold pieces worth of plunder here. Mm. Well, luckily, Captain, there's about 2,000 worth of plunder that you can take back to your crew. <laughs> <laughs> you know that those are also your crew member that you have to answer That's to, That's right? true. Mm. Yes, I will in fact answer to them and say that our great captain decided that we would storm the tower. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, would just and you're the, the one that set off the bomb. I'm sorry, last, last I heard you wanted to be full <laughs> acting in charge captain. <laughs> So I am following I your do orders. Do not regret this one bit. <laughs> As is your first mate's duty. He is so salty. Oh, he's so going to so die salty. later. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what do you guys want to do? Wait till he's in the boat. <laughs> I just want to keep watching this exchange. Feed him to sharks. <laughs> um, stairs. I'm going up the stairs. Captain, I would consider that unwise. Upstairs. You need me to survive. Hmm? Can, so you, who's... can you lead the way up the stairs? You got the best perception All right. of the bunch. Right? I'll, my brother. Then I'll go first. Okay. And I'll so perceptify. Ren has gone upstairs. I'm gonna perceptify on my way up, take my time, not move sure. fast before I get to the top level. Why don't you make a perception check when you get to the top? Uh, 10. Okay, so you, the next room up, you see is fairly empty. Um, it's got, uh, yeah, it's got a desk with what appears to be some logs on it um, and a chest. Logs. Come on up. Okay, I go up. I follow, Sir. So um, the logs appear to be date back about. Adam, are you going up to? Three. You mean things. logs as in books or logs as in giant? Like they were going to set fire to the desk. <clears throat> no, That's they were not going to set fire to the desk. This is who was manning the lighthouse. This was their logs. Books. Of yeah, books. Starting. It was not. And they not they are fairly current, although they do stop about three months so ago. So log books, not logs. I get Not that. Um, I get that. Now. What ship are they Thank from? Thank you. No, it's they're from the lighthouse. It's the lighthouse. Oh, <laughs> the SS lighthouse. Sorry. Yes. Okay. <laughs> right. Somebody who does the whole reading thing. Hey, okay, can you listen for the? Can first? you make a persuasion right. check? I'll listen to the stairs. A persuasion check? Yeah, I just want to see if I'm convinced that you're persuasion. That's a fourteen, Captain Madden. <laughs> you have to make so an insight. So looking at the. Uh, the lighthouse logs towards the, towards the end. Is there anything uh -huh. interesting about harpies yeah. or? Uh, no. Okay. No, it's, it's I'm gonna go much. listen at the stairs okay. leading up. Okay. The 22. Oh, that's better. 21. You definitely hear some movement upstairs. I distinguish anything in fancy? Uh, you would think that it might be harpies. <laughs> <laughs> You it's, don't say. It's uh, you know, it's some some chattering back and forth between one harpy and another. Anybody speak harpy? Well, what you do need to do is speak about harpies because when you have harpies, you need to talk about it. It's not a comfortable conversation, but it's a safe one. <laughs> God. So nice to have you back. He was so he was so sad that he couldn't type fast enough. To get the I to I was I, started saying I had tuned in right before you said it. I was like, oh, Harvey, we got this one, and you beat me to it every bloody every time. time. That's why you need to watch on your computer so that you can type. Well, I was type in the type. car. So it's also to, it's it? also like a fourteen second delay. Yeah. yeah. Are we gonna have to rename the channel? Mistakes being made. Harpg. <laughs> Oh, that's just wow. dumb. Uh, you had an inspiration. I would take it from. Um, <laughs> all right, so um, all right. Uh, Somebody's well, gonna think that's I funny. heard it too. Uh, did a twenty hear the same thing? Here? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're not being um, quiet. Well, I think we should try to be. Yeah. Yeah, because they don't know that we just we, blew up the. Yeah, door. they definitely know you're there. Yeah. Um, they know we're coming. Ten minutes ago. Why don't we roll initiative so that because I I have a sense. Rage. That a fight is gonna break out. No, nope. fight. That doesn't sound like us. I wish to go up and negotiate. Natural twenty for Howard. You got a natural twenty. You should. Glad you saw that. Uh, a bear. Nineteen. Nineteen. That's not a twenty. Spider nope. Frank. Their wings. Seven. So, uh, Frank, you're way off. That's not a twenty at all. Uh, Mike. Sixteen. Sixteen. All right. That's getting closer to a natural twenty. Aaron. Let's well, not a natural twenty. Uh, Ten. Ten. Okay. So they're halfway there. And yeah. then Adam. Half Twelve. Way. Living on Twelve. <laughs> no more than right. thirty seconds, though. <laughs> yeah, don't don't go into it. We were gonna get kicked off Twitch. I was singing the classic. Not not right right face song. Song. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so, uh, Aaron, you're gonna have to That's pretend that I made a special <laughs> one for Mr. Remington, but it actually says Vazia. Oh, okay. Um, Goes your immersion. Yeah. I know. Right? <laughs> Jeez. I'm your terrible. ally is encased in a sea coat. Oh, of salt. guess who else got a natural twenty? I feel like I'm. The I hope dexterous the flying. Oh, you know when? Um, yeah. Um, I get to choose when it's a tie. Oh, really? It's not just yeah. a bonus? To no, Bex, no. It's, it's when players tie, they get to choose, and when um, monsters and player tie, I get to choose. So, oh. um, I'm sure you're going to do that to our favor, right? Well, I mean... I mean, if it was based on decks, I'm sure they would go mm -hmm. first, because yeah. I have a dex of 10. Yeah, that's true. Oh. That's also true. I mean 11. Just mm. 11. You gotta win. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Mm -hmm. All right. Can't mm -hmm. wait till I get that I bonus. So, that? Sarsarel. Oh, yeah. Howard, bonus. what are you doing? Uh, I'm probably going to do something intelligent. No. Don't you like open doors and stuff without thinking about it? Or I can, touch I can it? cast Thelmaturgy, yeah. That's a good idea. You gotta open the, the I'm bottom cast door? cast Thelmaturgy. No, I'm gonna open the top. Is there a top door? Or no? no, it's a stairwell. Oh, it's just a stairwell. Oh. It's a spiral staircase up. Well, I'll still cast Thaumaturgy because it'll be fun. Uh, okay. What are you gonna? I will gonna boom? cause thunder. My yeah, I'll do my voice thing, or maybe alter the appearance of my eyes. Can you? Oh, that's a good one. Hit him with the wave and make him all prone, so they're not flying around. I I can't from down here. You want me to go up there and do it? Yeah. You just want me to go up and do run some up thunders? there and do some thunder waving. Fine, I'll run upstairs and thunder wave. Okay, they're gonna take their attacks against you. Da, 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 da. Well, he does Wait, have what? the highest AC of the party. <laughs> I thought I you would... like really literally just listened to what they said. <laughs> you really did what they told you to well, do. Yeah. <laughs> my best interest. That's to... true. Nope. They've got it's their okay. best. Okay, you only in... have one more level to do this. You got another thunder wave. Okay, so that is. That was two 19s on the dice. Wow, and that's, then, gonna, that's gonna hit. And then <laughs> a, uh, what's their attack bonus? Um, really should have sent you up first. <laughs> I only follow listen. orders. Uh, 18, does 18 hit you? That's listen. exactly what you need. Three attacks you hit you? It. Are you kidding me? Excellent. Okay, so he runs up here. Here comes the bump. <laughs> that's four, four, four damage, four damage, and four damage. Oh, excellent. Well, yeah. 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 You are still standing. Oh, or is it nine, just nine. the one? He's still standing. No, there's two. Everything's fine, guys. So you run upstairs. I'm gonna go ahead and max them. And this. then you go. One so they need to make a saving Ooh, throw. Yeah, and one's a bomb. Uh, DC 15. That's a fireball, but you get the idea. <laughs> uh, DC 15? Yeah. All right. And, and it's it a dexterity saving throw? Is a or a con saving throw? Sorry, I'm looking it up real quick. I guess I can start making them. Eight, four, and a 14 on the dice. Uh, I guess that one probably saved. Where did it go? Sorry, hold on. That's exactly what you should do. That's the jam. Oh. Oh, spider harpies. Oh, no. Nah. That's my jam. That's my jam. Oh, that's my jam. That's my jam. Mm. <laughs> so my plan on the loot. <laughs> Rin's a bear, motherfucker. Rin's here's, a bear. <laughs> here's, here's the thing about Rin. What you didn't know is one, kind of Scottish oh. accent. <laughs> Two, incredibly salty. Three, loves a good jam. <laughs> what flavor? What about though? a jelly? <sighs> Not so much in the jelly. <laughs> Not the so jam. much. But the jam really works. Grape, strawberry, <laughs> don't care. Just like a good jam. What are you doing? <laughs> Well, I don't know what Howard's doing. I'm, I'm feeling for This is the longest <laughs> thunder wave. I'm so sorry. Aaron, <laughs> like, what's, what's this thunder wave brought to you by? <laughs> oh, this thunder wave is brought to you by Axe and Shield Gaming. <laughs> 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 All sales great merchandise, plus one to AC. Okay. Risers. Oh, wow. <laughs> So they are, it is a constitution saving throw. Two. It is constitution Ooh. saving throw. Yeah. So the highest plus I got was a 15, AC? and the second yeah. highest I got up? was a 9. I'm not sure okay. if that So I'm the one sure that, that you're going to take half damage. I mean, the I haven't others slept are going to be pushed I don't know if AC is fluctuated by it. Okay. And they will take 16 damage. Marmalade? Okay, so, so you kill two, no, but Marmaduke, <laughs> and the guy <laughs> that takes half damage, I'm takes eight damage. Eight damage. Eight damage. Okay, so he's oh, or she. She. <laughs> Don't be sexist, dude. Males can be harpies too. Really? Wasn't there a Christina Aguilera song? So two of those guys are dead. Two of them? Yep. <laughs> 
See? All right, is Great it... idea. <laughs> sure. Just choose. There we go. Uh, so that is Sarsarel's turn and their turn, so Xenos. All right. Well, I Bravely guess... charge Bravely up. Bravely charge <laughs> up, yeah. Mm -hmm. You just hear a, a crash and a couple of thumps. Huh. All right. Oh, yeah. and now oh, it's all on the <laughs> It was a thunderous. What? Yeah. So that's a 16 to hit that one. A 16 does hit that one. All right, so a blast of fire hits it for two damage. <laughs> Is it a blast of fire, or is it like a... A puffy wisp of fire. Did you blast blow your, 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 your flint and steel? <laughs> blast of fire for We're light. Light. two damage. Slut. Like you threw a Okay, so it doesn't have that as, kind of force. As it's doing that <laughs> thing, because its, ear, <laughs> ear, it's, it's <laughs> ears are blown out, <laughs> you manage to singe its shoulder <laughs> for two damage, <laughs> and then it's shipwreck's turn. All right, I run up. Are you ready to murder this thing? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> So oh, much murder. You're gonna murderize it? Once. Yeah. I was <laughs> gonna murder. Oh, yeah. Don't That's, just tenderize. Uh, you, murderize. What'd you roll? Uh, I rolled an 18 to hit it. <laughs> yeah. Also, if there was anything in the room, it's like That's completely. Six. Mm -hmm. That's six <laughs> like damage. There were um, several priceless uh, crystalline uh, statues. That were Excellent. In the Excellent. How much? Six. Those are shattered. Six? Okay. Yeah, they're shattered. Right? Storm um, you can mark off another 10,000. What? Under. Stop <laughs> breaking the valuables. They wouldn't even have been there if I hadn't thunder with <laughs> That's true. They oh, been. I can punch with my other hand. You can punch with your other hand. No, I can't. No, you can't. <laughs> All right, Corbin. Right, my hand is firmly up your ass. <laughs> you can move me up. She can make a whiz. Yes, save. thank you. Tall this winch. Is this a bell? Yeah. Tink -a -tink. How about a seven? How about 11 points in your product? Oh. She takes 11. Oh, it's... And it is a guy, by the way. This is a guy? Yeah. Don't be sexist. So it's a his pee. Harpies are... Is that not how it works? That's, a, that's if it was a herpes. herpes. Female? I, I don't know. <laughs> how would they all be female? How would they all they be female? Eggs. They're magical. <laughs> Explain a Tarrasque. There's the only one Tarrasque. When he dies, he comes back. Aaron, what's Mr. Remington doing? Uh, I'll, Running uh, up and shooting I'll, with his gun. I, knew. I guess I'm going to run up and attack it three and times with my sword and, and my oh. dagger. Okay. Chad. So three attacks with sword and dagger. Yep. <laughs> it's a little taste of what Mr. Remington can do. Well, there's not a ton of taste of what Remington oh. can do. Oh! <laughs> Your lot. dice are taste cold steel. The, the Mr. Taste, Remington I mean, sits up there and like, stupid. What'd you, what'd you get? Uh, the highest one was 10. <laughs> oh, yeah, 10 is not going to yeah. do much. I'm going to beat Remington. I'm really disappointed in you, first mate. I, oh, I feel wow. better. But I would really like somebody to swing so that it doesn't kill me. Uh, that's going to be an 18 to hit, plus are you, 5. Are you swinging with a staff, or? No, I have a scimitar. Okay, I didn't know if you were, usually what Ren's modus operandi is, is to sh shift into something and kill it. I know. Okay. I just was checking. But he only gets so many of those a day. Yeah. Right. But yeah. Do you, do you know how many encounters you have left for the day? I we got don't know. one. Well, this Nobody. is one encounter, so. <laughs> <laughs> if it looks like we need it, I might. All right. Until then. That's fine. You do. You do you. I'll do me. I got this. You do you, Rez. I don't think he can make a bear run upstairs very well. <laughs> so it's he can have squeeze. A Go ahead and take seven. Seven damage. Okay. It is still alive. What? Surprisingly. Uh, and you want to thunder wave wisdom. again? No. Maximize? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I could, I would totally maximize these jackals. <laughs> uh, thunder I, wave. I get uh, advantage on that reflex save. <laughs> it's a con save. Uh, so oh. she, uh, the harpy needs That's to make a uh, will save. A wisdom, uh, save. wisdom saving throw. That is a two. So the bell tolls for this harpy. Again? It does. For whom the bell tolls? Yeah. Do you use a bell too? I do. Oh, neat. Oh. Ten damage. Oh, that's dead. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. My bell balls. has got some kelp on it, so it's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely doesn't ring as much. <laughs> swish, swish. It sounds okay. like a fog worm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, <clears throat> what now? I'm going to see if they had anything on them. Yeah. Okay. Are they, are they wearing them? any armor or anything? Uh, they, have, they have long bows. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. I take that back. They do not have longbows because I would have 
they would have done a lot better in the last. They have short bows. They have crossbows. Oh, that's right. Because they had to reload, um, and they have clubs. Oh, so if we beat Remington to death with clubs, it would make it look like harpies. Did. Um, sorry, I do have to. Uh, did you want me to add the longbows and the clubs and plus that to the four thousand gold the crew isn't getting from your first outing, or do you just want me to round that up? Or? Well, I mean, there's <laughs> also you forgot the the ten thousand gold pieces of priceless crystalline statues. There is also that that uh, just magically <laughs> appeared no, no, after no, 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 underway. I want Remington to stick around. <laughs> I can't <laughs> mending. No, this is not good. Statues. You guess what? I'm Mending. sorry that I'm right? a character who's like more charming than I don't think it's true. Um, you anything, know what? Actually, hold up. Is there here that did survive the... Um... Not in this room, no. I have right. Mending as a cantrip. Let's get that 10,000 gold worth of stuff back. Wing, <laughs> catch. Wing, catch. Oh, you guys are going to spend a, yes. a lot of time? Okay. No, we'll, no. Gonna after we finish the We're going to go kill tower. some more harpies, then we'll and then we're going to come back. They don't seem bucks. like they're coming down. <laughs> <laughs> They're just hanging out in the hey, room above hey, us. Hey, uh, Remington, why don't you go up the stairs and see if they're uh, what those harpies up there doing? Scout glass. it out for me. Would you like me to do it at ten paces per, or do you have a specific that guy's action you want me to take? <laughs> I would like you to use your best judgment oh, to no, scout no. up up there and see what's going on. Come back and report to us. So you go like yes. this, right? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> clear. <laughs> go scout it. <laughs> okay, Who's and I walk up three steps and I go, all right, so far, so good. Keep going. <laughs> Quieter. Halfway through, still doing fine. <laughs> oh, man. Going flatter and flatter. <laughs> 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 I can't lose a mighty stairs. Oh, so you're prone, eh? <laughs> <laughs> By the time he's at so the is, top one. Is anybody following Mr. Remington up the stairs, or is oh, it mostly just watching, watching him go? Self-check? You sure can. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. Great. well, Mr. Where definitely Mr. Remington has an amazing <laughs> stealth, so that's uh, fine. Okay. I look around and pretend I can't see him. <laughs> I, I'm going to go ahead and charge up the stairs. Okay, you're charging up the stairs. Past so are you going to step on Mr. Remington? You should. Forcefully. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. You make your way up the stairs. I don't hurt you. Uh, but, oh. When you get to the top of the stairs, go ahead and do me a favor and yeah. make a wisdom saving throw. Awesome. Ah! That is oh. uh, 19. A 19 is going to save. So the uh, one of the harpies looks at you and says, uh, why don't you go up to the roof and jump off? And you don't sound like that. Does not sound like a sound plan to you. <laughs> I get a, a I get a save on an advantage anyway on that one. On charm effects. Well, no. When they say something to do something that's uh, oh hazardous yeah. to your health. Yeah. Well, actually, no. I actually I worded that wrong. Why don't you go take a nap? <laughs> Why don't you go upstairs and climb down? Oh. And then there's a chance you fall. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Did there's those harpies have time machines? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, go ahead and so you're yeah. over there. Next to one of the harpies. Oh. Mm. Why don't you go to hell? <laughs> okay. So you're attacking the harpy. Uh, maybe because he rolled a two. That's Let's why she won't. Let's go with the second attack. <laughs> okay, so you, you got another attack. Mm. Ooh. Is this not like your second? That's a 12. She slaps your hand away. Are you raging? Yeah, you don't get a bonus to hit on a rage. Oh, You no. just get a plus two damage. Yeah. She slaps your hand in a Get up there, Remington. Show him what's for. Well, sure. I was on my scouting mission. I, did that change at some yes. point? Yes. I didn't hear the yes. orders. That's Corbin, it's your turn. <laughs> You're the turn. worst scout ever. <laughs> also, it's not my turn. No. <laughs> Come up here and kill them. All of them. Mike, you can see, or Shipwreck can see, that one of these harpies is clearly injured. Uh, the other two look uninjured. I thought we had a couple that were injured last time. Yeah, and they've you had like an hour to take care of them. No, like an they hour no. Hour. You, the ones that you came up in one shot, those were very injured harpies. Oh, oh okay, all right. Mm. Okay. I was wondering why that one. Those two went down. I'm like, is this the boss already? <laughs> Does a nineteen hit it by chance? Which one are you attacking? Uh, the one right next to him. The oh, the one adjacent? Yeah, yeah that, that hits that one. Okay. So I have this giant black blade. You sure do. Oh, actually, as a bonus action before I swing, hex. Okay. Then I hit it. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. You're not going to Laura Bailey this and hex it after you've attacked? Uh-uh. It, how would you help me remember that, Aaron? Did you said <laughs> hex! Bonus hex! <laughs> Bonus action! Bonus hex! Step one on your character sheet. Hex. Step two. <laughs> Whatever else you want to do. Four. They were in there like... 14th or 15th level, and she was still uh, Hunter's Marking after It after gets to the attacked. point where that's just ingrained. Uh, yeah. 20 points of damage. 20 points. You kill that one. You slice it clean right. in half. So Corvin comes up with, <laughs> excuse me, sir. <laughs> well, yeah. So that was the other injured one. Oh. <laughs> I uh, I'm going to kill you with Mr. your Mr. Remington, what are you doing? <laughs> Get up kill there. With my friend. Are you going to move up and start attacking? Yeah, I'm going to attack that. RP right there. You have your, your sword and dagger out, yep. right? So that one, I'm guessing, is going to hit. That's uh, 22-ish. 22-ish is going to hit. Oh, oh, that's that, a 20. That's a 20 on the second one. Seems like uh, Mr. Remington was holding back in the previous room. No, also. And then he rolled the four. Then the four. <laughs> yeah, like, you you should four. stop. He has three attacks? Yeah. He has three, three attacks. attacks. Um, it's almost all right. like he's a different level than you guys. <laughs> but falling damage is falling damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fine point. <laughs> Underway. Seven on the first There's one. A window. Uh, it's an arrow slit, not a window. He can fit. Mm. And then the crit. Eleven. Yeah. Eleven on the crit for the second okay, one. Okay, so eighteen total. Uh, yeah, eighteen total. All right, that one's hurt quite yeah. a bit. Bucky the tooth. Ren. Bear. Yeah. Bucky the tooth. Uh, there you go. Yep. I am coming up. Man, that turning into a that bear. that bear is not as intimidating as the uh, the wizard's one. And uh, first is going to be. How are you getting there? Well, oh. as soon as he becomes adjacent, he can move around him and not get attacks of opportunity. So I come up here. Uh-huh. Actually, I can come up there. Well, no. You look at where the stairs are. We'll look at okay. where the stairs end. Right. It comes okay. in, over on that side. Okay, so I come up here. Uh huh. Right. Uh huh. And then walk. You can through move through them. Remington. Yeah. Through, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. well, there you go. I'll move through Remington. Okay. And as long and as you're a bonus all right. action, as I just as wanted, as a bonus I wanted action, to see it because when you put the bear in the middle of the room, it seems a little funky. It's bear in the middle of the room would have been even easier. Yeah. It's magical. Stay so, uh, and then um, you were attacking the injured one or the uninjured one? So we have the injured one. Go for the injured, injured one. Okay. one. Finish it off. Oh, there we go. All That's right. So bite. Don't spread that out. Just kill them. Uh, that yeah, is. Don't spread harpies. Yeah. No. That is an 18 I mean, you guys to hit. Are going to spread harpies. Yeah. It hits. And a 15 to hit. That also hits. All right. So let's start with the bite. That'll be nine. And then uh, uh, that'll be 15. So 24 points of damage. Okay, you kill that one. Jesus. So I come up and uh, I reach down and just engulf the harpy's whole head in my mouth and then fling its body while it's in so, so now you got a little bit of harpy <laughs> surround your mouth? You're going to say that it's a cold sore, but everybody's going to know. I mean, technically, both things are true. <laughs> Does the affliction stick with him when he transforms back, or is it only when he turns into bear forms you can have harpies? <laughs> no, it, it sticks. Oh, so you're going to come out, you're going to have just harpies. Just I'm going to have harpies. Break yeah. out all over you. Awesome. Yeah. So, I know a cleric named Valtrex, though, so I'll be good. Yeah. That's good. That, that only good. suppresses harpies. I would love harpies. for you to have just a little <laughs> feathered mustache. <laughs> that would be the best. Uh, Star Zero? It's uh, a druid thing. No, it's <laughs> going to cast resistance on Xenos because I know he's going to need it. Okay. And then I. What does resistance do? So it gives Xenos him a one d four to his next saving throw. Okay. Uh, and then I will come up to almost the top of the stairs because it doesn't look like there's a lot of space. Okay. And just survey what's going on. It looks like we got one harpy left. You guys. got one harpy left. One Good harpy. job. All right. So we got you, this. You come up and just look around. Yeah. Where are you? I'm at the top of the stairs, so why don't yeah. you just put me on the top step? Yeah, that'll right work there. there. There we go. <clears throat> okay. So DM1 is gone. Xenos, it is your turn. Okay, so if I go up the stairs, Throw those mighty two points can I get fire. to? <laughs> can yeah. I get to stand next to um, yeah. my two shipmates there? You can just stand in front of Remington. <laughs> fire. Away. I mean, yeah. but I can see fine. <laughs> I know you can. What could possibly go wrong? All right, and then I'll blast the harpy with fire. 
That's a 22. 22 is going to hit? Yes. Okay. And that is three wow. fire damage. I mean, she is, she is Over thoroughly scorched. <laughs> Good. Fifty percent more damage <laughs> in your previous fireball. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. What are you doing? Keep I'm gonna up. go ahead and walk up and okay. punch that one. Punch a couple her. Times. Yeah. That's a cantrip, right? Yeah. Uh, so two is not gonna hit. No. no. Natural one is. I'm going <laughs> backwards. Guys, what curse was Whoa. put upon this table? While I wasn't here. <laughs> so here's what happens now. I think it's because it is her turn. I she she it's reaches up oh, to a necklace here. that's uh, around her neck. And she pulls a bead off, and she throws it up in the air, and then she turns and looks out the window, and Misty steps 30 feet. Oh, no. And then the bead lands. Yeah. So and can, everybody needs to make a dexterity saving throw. I would have given myself that. Can she cast throw. a spell while she's engaged with you? She's not spell. Uh, she's not, well, she can, yes, yeah, she can cast a spell. It okay. is. If she's attacking, it's disadvantage, but she's not. Um, she's using an item, and as a bonus action, she's using Misty Step. In using an item is an opportunity attack? I do not believe so. All right. So we're doing a reflex that's worth, save? That's worth checking. It is. Before we all blow up. Because I might just wow. punch it in her face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll all blow up, but at least it'll be worth it. That's he true. grabs it, shoves it in her mouth, holds her beak closed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, what people get? Because you're making the reflex, uh, the Wait, dexterity save. T-fool. You save. You only take 12 damage. So dumb. Nine. You're another shot. 17. Okay. You take, uh, Frank, you take 24 damage. Sarsara? Uh, I did not save. So okay. 24 damage? 24 damage. Excellent. Uh, Are you down again? Seven save by chance? No. Yeah, didn't think so. So how much damage? I 24. That defense so, came in handy. Did that D4 help you at all? No, well, it, you didn't yeah, use no. it because you No, I did. Kill. It was on the next save. That's what he said. So yeah. yeah. I had to use it, right? You used it right then. Perfect. I, mean, I, it helped, to, it I had to use it, it right, Hard? Yeah, your next save. Yeah. It helped out a lot. Yeah, it doubled my D20 roll. And oh, man, that's unfortunate. Well, I'm still looking up using an item since nobody seems to know the rule. I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, it's the, uh, six. Action is use an object. Six? Okay, 24 damage. I'm pretty sure I'm That on. takes an action to use an object. <clears throat> action. Okay, so what happens object. if you take... <clears throat> so is, was her uh, Misty Step an action? It's a bonus action. It's a bonus action, okay. Yeah. That does not provoke an attack of opportunity, I take it. No, bonus yeah. action is... Well, uh, so casting a spell in combat, if you're attacking someone, you're at disadvantage because you're effectively right. trying mm-hmm. to not. If you're not attacking somebody, then there's no penalty for doing it in combat. You just do it. And the the penalty for uh, her casting uh, Missy Step was she could not use one of her spells. Instead, she used an object off of her Necklace of Fireballs. Smart moves moves out of your yeah. reach. That's it. That's the only time you get. So that was her. That's it. Who's okay. next? So, um, question: If I am, if taking uh, eight more damage than I have hit points. So you are at zero and making death saving throws okay. on your turn. Oh, right. at zero. So okay. as a, I walk to the window. Uh huh. As a bonus action, I shift text to her. Okay. And then she needs to make a wisdom save at disadvantage. A disadvantage, you say? All right. Um, I got an eight. She can take 10 points of necrotic damage. She takes 10 points of necrotic damage, and she is not happy about it. Oh, by the way, on her turn, she teleported the 30 feet, and then she flew um, 40 feet. Yep. So she is now 70 feet away. That's still... Within range, I I realize, but I wanted... That's that's not within range at all of the dead if she's 60 feet feet. away. Total okay. 60 feet. So did you want to do something else then? I'll shoot her with an Eldritch Blast instead. I'll still move the hex to her. Sure, yeah, yeah. I figure you're you're going to be out of spell range at some point. Who's down? I am. Mm. I'm I at am. five Actually, hit points. Let's have her make a deck saving throw. Uh, well, I'll just use the same one. It's eight. These harpies burn. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Harpies do burn, especially her. 
So she takes eight fire on her turn. Okay, so she has two more hit points than what she had before. And then I'll try and shoot her with an Eldritch Blast on my turn. That was on her turn. Oh. Because I get a reaction to Hellish Rebuke. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And 21 hits. 21 does hit. What you don't know is this is the general harpy and it doesn't hit. Oh. <laughs> Uh, she only takes two points of Eldritch Blast. She takes another two points, of, which actually puts her right at what she was before. There you <laughs> go. When you told the dead on her. It's almost like it all still works. Uh, all right, what's Mr. Remington doing? Are you going to loot uh, Vaziago? Or uh, loot Xenos? <laughs> so, <laughs> the captain's down. Yes. Um, now, are you completely Mr. Remington in pictures and miniature has a pistol. He does. He However, does not have a pistol. Okay. All right. Pistols are not. Pistols are not common. Okay. In Forgotten Realms. Um, and at this level, if it was Pathfinder rules, you got okay. like a twenty percent chance of it blowing up in your oh, face. Hundred anyway, percent. So. But that's worth it. Yeah. On a, on a character that he's not going to play <laughs> next week. Yeah. Yeah. Fun ever. Uh, I'll check out that chest over there. What's in that chest? Oh, it's got some stuff in well, it. Well, isn't there? Uh, oh, you have no range whatsoever. He has a dagger. I have a He's disadvantage. A dagger and a scimitar, and she's 70 feet away. Yeah. I could try throwing it. <laughs> so you flip open the chest? Yeah. Um, it has... It explodes. <laughs> <laughs> I was half expecting it, to be honest. <laughs> it has um, a lot of coins in it. Um, I forgot to add. And some gems. <clears throat> I, forgot one. I forgot to add damage. And how big is this chest? Like, is it a, she's a it's chest? hefty. Yeah. Pick it up. She's um. Hard. Did you want to add some damage, Adam? She, if do you're you cool have a with time it, machine? she can add. Nope, I do not have a time machine. <laughs> no, you can add damage. That's it fine. would be four points of damage. Four points of damage. Okay, that's an extra four points of damage for for Corvin's bruised ego. Just forgetting. <laughs> I know. So you lift up it. It's got several. Um, it's got lots of gems mm -hmm. and lots of coins. It's also got a necklace of small spiraling shells. Um, a well-made, ornate uh, coat with gold buttons, and a fan um, uh, with a, it's a, like a Asian oriental type fan, like the, the type that you would get at a cheap uh, swap meet or something <laughs> like that. Um, That's a dollar store. That is very detailed with a uh, drawing of a sunset on one side. You're gonna head down the tower. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go make sure the crew gets the loot. Okay. Yeah. Your captain's bleeding out. I mean, captain's down. I I take control of mantle. <laughs> That's I'm true. Now acting You're captain. now acting captain. So I'm gonna take care of my crew. So I pick up the chest and I start walking down the tower. Is there? A, a problem. You know, there's there's chairs down on the lower level. Are you gonna do a Riker sit down, or you go over the back well, of the chair? Well, no. Down? I'm gonna wait till I get to the. Captain. <laughs> <laughs> called the Riker Maneuver. Yeah, that's right. Well, the Riker Maneuver is separating the saucer from the ship. <laughs> well, listen, crashing. I have the Remington Maneuver now. Okay. Uh, and so that is... <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. So that is uh, Mr. Remington. Uh, uh -huh. Ren, what are you doing? I'm going to go... Eat Mr. Remington. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going to go back to human form. You can't do that. Yeah, you're a furbolt. You know <laughs> <laughs> God, it's such a sad story. Well, Every time you say it, into you just so bad. <laughs> You're right. Um, I mean, if you could turn into anything, you could turn into Beyonce. <laughs> oh. You would be a lot more popular with the crew. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> what? Uh, I thought we uh, said we were... Uh, 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 uh. So, um... I look down at you. Yeah. Not moving. Survival yeah. of the Frank. I'm like, <laughs> this is in my best interest. I look at you moving down the steps. This is in my best interest. I can heal you. All right, so how many hit points do I get? <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Just enough to stable it. <laughs> no, it's the cantrip. Yeah, Fair stabilization. Just stabilize. I'll go ahead and use uh, D8 times three. So I'll use my cure wounds. Okay. Oh, it's just a D8. It's a D8. Plus yeah. your spellcasting, by the way. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to use a higher level spell, you can, I'm pretty sure. 
No, I just need you to not be dead. I mean, so I need me to. Him, so you can tell him to freaking stop. Really, it's <laughs> what it boils makes, down to. Makes sense. Uh, so go ahead and put uh, nine on you. <laughs> nine. All right. I can't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> You're thirty feet down the, yeah, the stairs. All right. All right. So when you, I cast it and you wake up, I'm like survival of the fittest. Nice. Thanks. You say that a lot. This makes me. I don't know survive. if you know what that means. Um, <laughs> I do not think that means... Sarsarel? What are you doing? Works uh, however he defines it. Right now. <laughs> okay, so... What's the DC on a death saving It's a DC 10, and you don't get a, a modifier to it. So it's 50% chance to fail. Excellent. Like I said, you being alive, it's in my so best interest. So make your roll. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell him to stop. Because <laughs> I see him leaving without us. <laughs> That's yeah, what I see. Three, yeah. One of three, yeah. So Oh, so I got skipped that whole last... Cause oh, yeah. You, yeah, cause it teleported away. Mm-hmm. I was dead. Then it would have been Cirque's turn. Oh, yeah. you said it was my turn. Oh yeah, yeah he did skip Cirque. So it is Cirque's turn. All right. Cirque what do you do? Anything. I walk over, pick up a crossbow, and shoot it at the harpy. Okay, go for it. Twenty-three hit it. Twenty-three does hit. Eight damage. All right. I'm glad we we went back for that. Well, it's eight damage. <laughs> totally eight damage. Um, all right. So Xenos. Okay. Um, you are on the ground. And Mr. Remington Your is walking clothing through. is very badly burned. <laughs> okay. Because you've Not been through, blown up twice, through huh? multiple fireballs today. Yep. Um, but, and the good news is, you've lived through multiple fireballs today. That's right. Um, and you're saying survival of the fittest, so clearly I survived. Um, but the chest is missing. And so is Mr. Remington. Yep. I would have noticed the chest. Well, I would have said to you, I, when no, I hear what, you... Uh, but, but, what you said to him, the survival of the fittest. <laughs> Which Remington wasn't it? <laughs> uh, Mr. Remington. <laughs> report. <laughs> and somebody awesome. heal. Um, how hard are you down? Yeah, you yeah. Down. yeah. And I failed yeah. my first saving throw so far. Okay. And uh, somebody heal. Um, Sorcerer. Sorcerer. <laughs> who's, who's, got a, who's got a healing potion for Sorcerer? And then. Can I see this? This is week seven, by the way. He had to look and see what your name was. <laughs> I'm not good with names. Um, Thanks, Jindy. No, it's, say it's it. easy. It's Howard. <laughs> Howard, I can remember. Sorry, right? I had more than seven weeks to remember. Howard. Howard forgot Howard. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. It is true. And that's more like 17 years. <laughs> so, so you, so Xenos <laughs> commands. Uh, Remington to stop. Yep. And then ask somebody to heal Sarsarel. Right. Um, and then stands up. Stands up. Stands up. So that's half your movement. Get up. Right. And then I still have an action left, right? Oh, you're right. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we're being liberal with it, sure. Look can I, the can I see the the, um, the harpy? So you uh, if you walk over to the window, you, you have ten feet of movement no, to get over to the window you. on you the far side. If I use half of my movement to stand up, then no. no. Well, okay. I mean, he's only this tall, so well, it true. should only take half a movement. My speed is 25, so if I use 12 feet to stand up, then... <laughs> then you got 10 feet to move. Then I could move. You got 10 feet to move. Oh, okay. thanks, Useless Wizard, for subscribing. We appreciate it. Um, oh. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. So, and you know what? So, um, you're, not useless. you're not useless. <laughs> but I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do anything else if I moved over to the window. Is that what you're saying? Oh, I mean, if you work. wanted to use your full... If you wanted to dash, you yeah, could you get over it. to the window, and that's it. Dash is an action. And yell out for Poe to shoot that wench. Oh, yeah. You could command the, the crew. Purple. That's you true. The I will crew are on, the crew the are on this side. Gunner. Well, and she's headed they are, that side. There's a window. There's a window right there. Sure. Right next to, so I could you could shout down. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll do that. Can I make it, make an insight check? Like, can they hear me? Can they? Do they no, know they the pre, they pre uh, predetermined hand signals? That's a. Uh, 18 on my inside. No. They can no. hear you. All right. See? Uh, shoot a crossbow sideways at both. They can uh, hear me. Because <laughs> I could catch That doesn't work. So here's a ladder. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to climb up. Okay. If you take her, you're, you're, you're on the top. Don't jump uh, There's a light. So it's kind of like that. Oh, okay. Four so there's hours. there's a trap door. The hatch. Um, and there's a light. Mm-hmm. And um, there is crenellations. And basically, I mean, it's, it's pretty empty. Well, so it's not pretty empty. There are bones up here. Okay. They look like they've been picked pretty clean. Oh, like from harpies eating people. The yeah. Sailors. Yep. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna look at the direction that the other harpy's going. Okay. And then just she's flying away from the ship. Right. And I'm just gonna keep looking in that direction. Okay. 
See if she's going to look for something else. No, I'm going to wait for your ass to come up here with a map so we can figure out where she's going. Oh. Okay. Uh, so that's shipwreck. That's legit. Um, she's she's going to, go to <laughs> dash, right. so she's going to move 80. Yeah. So she's um, 150 feet away? Because mm -hmm. it's going to take, what, an action to reload a crossbow? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to shoot her. So. Corbin? I'll come walking up to the top. Okay. She's and <laughs> head towards it, <laughs> and the sword disappears. Mm-hmm. And I lean onto the crenellation and the great crossbow <laughs> loaded. Oh, you are my favorite person. I'm going to start aiming. <laughs> okay. So that's my action for the round. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Remington is going to walk down the stairs? No. Yeah. He's disobeying. I heard you to report. I don't. I didn't see my captain come back up, so I'm still acting as first captain. <laughs> you can, you can hear him, captain. though. <laughs> first uh, so captain. In the world of D and D, any as sort captain, of mimicry captain. of voices can happen. We we literally so sail with two people. Terms, that whole thing is they mimic is voices it? perfectly. So <laughs> if you dash, yeah, uh, you can get down to the uh, the tower level before Why the the basement or the oh. the area that you oh, entered. I've there is another it. chest in that area. Oh gosh! I'm so there's now two chests. <laughs> you just like <laughs> set them both on so the ground. So wait, you're down here now. Just, yeah. <laughs> just yell for Sirk to come down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My so for me to come down and carry this boot. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got this right. <laughs> Acting captain says to go. So are you gonna <laughs> are you gonna stop there? Are you gonna I'm continue? the acting captain. I, as far as we know, I mean, this is all really speculation. <laughs> <laughs> Remington says he's captain. Uh, Red, what are captain? you doing? You guys are gonna have to fight. So him. the captain ordered me to heal you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna tell him survival of the fittest? I'm gonna go ahead and put a. It's your catchphrase. Three, huh? eight on you. I heal you eight. Eight. Nice. And then you give him a bill. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Captain ordered me to heal you. I cleric that hands out bills for heal spells Excellent. now. He has to be a stone fist. Yep. <laughs> nice. I knew I wouldn't perish here. It's not my destiny to die here. I've seen where I die. <laughs> this is not. How many hit points did I? How many hit points did I give you? Uh, <laughs> Just be like, I'm really heal you and go into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> you are the and submerged, right? Let's see if you uh, truly are the champion of Emberly. <laughs> I could use like my last heal to. Heal you yourself. It's like the last harpy's just flying away. <laughs> well, I don't not, have a spell. I'm not going to get that far if, if you're going to snipe her down. <laughs> can I assist with that? <laughs> assist with an attack? All right. So. You can take yeah. the aid action if so, you're in combat. Uh, so, yeah, We're basically, I guess I get up and heal myself. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, all right, so Xenos. All right. Um, i help you by not talking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you get advantage on your next <laughs> I rolled with disadvantage, but I still got an 18. Oh, got you where, where the hell did Remington go? Down the steps. All right. Down the steps. Okay. Not as quickly as, not as, quickly as him. He's, you got, he's tiny little legs. legs. I am dashing. So Maybe you should almost have to so run down, well? down the stairs carrying a treasure chest. Well, I, th I thought you stopped down here <laughs> with, his, with the two... Dashing? No. Yeah, you can move. You, you kept going. You can move fifty feet, Doug. Fifty to. feet. So how far is it down the steps? Um, let's say that that is twenty-five feet. Okay, so that's twenty-five feet to there, thirty, and then another twenty-five feet would. So be, you're on the steps. So I'd be right here. <laughs> yeah. Stop! As what I'm the hell are you doing? Steps. Securing the booty, Captain. It's good to see you part back to the living. <laughs> Do you want to grab this other chest? <laughs> I want you to get up to the top to get the harpy. We'll get Cirque to help carry the chest down to the longboat. Captain, I have a scimitar and a dagger. <laughs> That's true. Your point. There's, there's a dagger <laughs> between your teeth. So this just happened. <laughs> Mike, are you doing anything? Uh, I'm going to reload him. Sorry. I'm going to reload my crossbow. Okay. Throw the dagger at the flying beast 80 feet damage. away. You okay. can protect. She drops. Oh. Into the ocean. My so <laughs> Fetch. Are you thinking Cirque is your hunting dog? <laughs> <laughs> How high are we off the ladder? <laughs> oh my gosh. Eight. Don't do this. Well, let's see. Check. 10, 20, 20 30, 30, 40, 50, 50, 60, 70? Well, if you remember, the tower was on three. Oh yeah, it was. Thanks. Is, is the body floating? 
Uh, it hits the water, and then it's starting to sink when it hits the water. That's gone. <laughs> Does it explode? Least, are you going to at least, like... <laughs> that's a look of disbelief. I have five hit points. <laughs> that's going to kill me if I take no... Like, no zipper fall. You don't have to jump, bro. Right? <laughs> swim out You there. swim way better than I do, okay. and then the crossbow disappears. <laughs> How many rounds um, is it going to take to, for you to get down? What's your speed? Uh, well, it's a speed of 30. So I okay. just get so someone it's on the take ship several to rounds. go It's going to take like three or four rounds yeah. just to get out. All right. I don't know your hand signs. You can... Make a wisdom check as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 14. I think that means Sally. You have Sally a decent idea of where you're at down when you, get, when you get out there. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so... Um, you're supposed to be there for that meeting. There's a harpy in the water. I forgot. There are two chests. Yeah. Um, Cirque is running down the tower to get out. <laughs> so you run past the Cirque, we got this other chest! Yeah, Where's going? Going? I right, wait! <laughs> I thought you were loyal to the captain. And then we're gonna be casting. Corvin will resummon yeah, his right. crossbow. Yes, yes, sir. We're gonna come strolling down just Yes, Captain? Yes, what? <laughs> get us out here! Resummons the black crossbow <laughs> and comes strolling down the stairs. Got it! What is your, <laughs> so your your sword looks like just shards of crystal, it's a jagged, right? Like, what is kind the of, what does the crossbow look like? It's just solid black stock, but the metal frame of the bow is jagged metal, okay. and the shards that come out of it are just like crystal and shards. Yeah. It's like okay. the blade being fired. Wait, so you come down the stairs, you say you got it. Mister Edmund turns to you and goes, "We killed it, Captain." <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I'll take a bonus action and drop the. Uh, Hex onto Rowing <laughs> <laughs> Do I feel that? Yeah. Oh. You do. Ooh. Oh, you do? And I think, yeah. I think it's going to be a wisdom save. <laughs> That's fair. Well, That's a good one. You may one. not feel it, but when Corbin points at him, <laughs> and then. Yeah. Oh. Uh, 18? So, oh, no, it just happens. Oh, it just happens. You yeah. have disadvantage in all wisdom. Wisdom. Oh, okay, good, good. <laughs> do you think this is a good idea? So sure. surprisingly, do surprisingly. Yeah. What are you guys doing in the three or four rounds that it's going to take him to get? To oh, the base we're of the going town? to the middle room with the ten thousand dollars worth of crystal that was shattered, and, <laughs> and we cast a mended like mended. a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody he heal paid. sir? <laughs> <laughs> He'll Cirque? Yeah, he's going to go swim out to try and catch the harpy. What? <laughs> I asked him to grab this chest. No, yeah, he, I was like, hey, Cirque. I... And then he was going to jump, and I'm like, you don't have to jump. And then he ran. <laughs> he's, go get her. <laughs> and I walked out of the tower. <laughs> There's not 10,000 gold pieces worth of crystals. Oh, there realized, is it? We realized uh, after So you just it. made that up until we had, when we had made yeah. it. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's just a glass. Yeah. It's just a whole bunch of glasses. Well, yeah. I think Dang. bigger than like it's like a foot mm -hmm. of it's not in mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, sir, did you take the rowboat? Hmm? No. It's He's right swimming. here. <laughs> I swim in. Okay. So you get out there. Yeah. You don't see the harpy, but you know where she was, and you can swim I'm down if you want. The <laughs> out to where he went. It's a 15 on my bus to get there with the chest. You jump in the water, you swim down. Uh, she's about 15 feet we'll down now. Because she's it. had several rounds yeah. to start settling down. Oh um, so, yeah. I just go down and see if she has a her. necklace. Yeah, she has a necklace. I pull. I just I want to get the necklace off. Okay. Just pull. Just grab a hold of one of the beads. And just yank. Me, yeah, I know. Get me. 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 Uh, yeah, you can pull it off. Okay. And then I'm going to drop it in your microphone. Put it in my... I know. Hook it around. Actually, I'll just hook it around my neck. Did cool. you then I'll swim back. Cool. Yeah. And that's a 20. Well, we're catching up to him on the rowboat, so yeah. we're coming yeah. out. So he breaches. Why didn't you take, take the, the boat? So that you could swim out or come out and get me. <laughs> I'm all sweaty now. <laughs> <laughs> I have a neck. And it smells horrible when he sweats. It smells really it is bad. One hundred percent. I'll stay whiskey. in the water, <laughs> right? Just, I'll just boat. hang on by the boat. So, just, you know what? How about we? After switch I cast crystal. mending on the first crystal, I'm like, <laughs> that's not really worth a damn. The, the stuff down like below that got blown up. <laughs> that's what you need to mend. Necklace of fireballs. Mm -hmm. How many beads? Two. Two. All right, Mr. Remington, will you open your mouth, please? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, make a wisdom save. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, mending is not the same as make whole. Mending is like taking Ooh. a piece of super glue, but seventeen like is the lowest. Seventeen okay. is the lowest. So yeah. Like, like if there's something in a hundred pieces, that's just it a would take a hundred minutes. 
to restore it with mending. Ah. So, so what you're saying is we need to so we got lay it. anchor? <laughs> That's what I heard. Um, I heard 2,000 gold pieces worth of lay anchor is what I heard. I, seems to me we've got nothing to do on the ship for the next couple of days other than make, Let's, other than mending, right? I so mean, basically you're take the puzzle, put it on the ship. Money. We'd probably make more well, money. If we got the accurate if I want Captain, it was an apple, Captain. <laughs> right. <laughs> 300 minutes for an apple. <laughs> and it's still Bruce. <laughs> Excellent. Give it to the cook. We'll have applesauce for dinner. So, what are you guys doing? Yeah, how much are we going to burn through in um, a day versus how much are we going to make? You're not well, going to get that 2,000 gold pieces back. Sorry. <laughs> Waiting you for, had a chance. I just wanted it, to make sure it was you detect heard trap. it mm -hmm. and acknowledge that you didn't get it. Yeah. Now you have to move on. So... Yes. Um, searching <laughs> while they're out with the rowboat to get Cirque and then come back. Those of us that stayed behind mm -hmm. can search, search for the anything tower else for anything of else of value. Just the, the items of value were in the chest that was up in the... Yeah, um, which we brought with us. Right. The harpy so sorcerer. Okay. Okay. So there so wasn't was anything else on the desk that would have been interesting or useful? I mean, there's log books, but they're log books of... Are there any um, maps? Of um, lighthouse workers. Any maps or... This shit no. came by today. He didn't crash. Right. Job well done us. The right. treasure chests are not a harpy toilet. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that, that's awesome. One of them is locked, though. Okay. Um, well, I guess it, so eventually we'll There's all get back chests. onto the ship. You know, yeah. with the treasure chests. Just an offhand mm -hmm. thing. Maybe try to open the locked one over there before you bring it. No, bring it back to the ship. You think it might be trapped with fire? I'm going to go on back a wood to ship. the ship. <laughs> and all talk right. to Handsome about uh, this owie I have. Um, <laughs> and how I got it murdering harpies <laughs> with an expert sniper shot that everybody on the ship probably actually saw. Oh yeah, saw. they saw. So, uh, You're impressive. I'm probably busy. So hey, to pick a lock, <laughs> yeah. that would be using thieves tools. Yes, yeah, so that would be your proficiency. If the whole ship Plus starts rocking, yes. okay. a wave you must be knocking. Just, wow, Corbin has harpies. So that's a 19. <laughs> Uh, I'm seeing a professional. Pick the lock. Yep. Yeah. I punch it. <laughs> I punch it. <laughs> I think I have a key here. It's the called the uh, Hadouken. <laughs> <laughs> it it goes. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go back to the ship. Get the hell Strength out of here. Strength check to just pry it open. Cry bar. Try. Cry bar it. It's yeah, a twenty. What if yeah. I was helping you with so you got advantage on that strength check? Okay. Don't you have something to give, a, give a bonus and to skills? And you are blessed by... Um, <laughs> and you get to add a d4. 23. And I summon the power of a demon. Right. Hold on. <laughs> huh? In the give me a second. Of the underworld and fail. D&D right. Beyond. I have it. So what is the damage on two fireball beads that go off when the other one goes off in its face? No. Oh, I have a story about fireball beads <laughs> going off when people are not smart. <laughs> Oh, was that when somebody pushed open a door? No, that was when somebody was like, I know how many hit points I have. I throw my bead at my feet. And I was like, congratulations for metagaming to a point where you annoyed the DM. Let's start making saving throws. <laughs> we'll start with the oil of impact that you have on your hip. Well, that's actually how that would work. Uh -huh. And then we'll move up to the necklace that still has the rest of the beads on it. Around your neck. Mm -hmm. It was fantastic. Okay. He was a dwarf and he could no longer grow a beard. Oh. Wow. That's a so point. where are you where are you trying to pry it open? Are you trying to pry it open in the tower or are you trying to pry it open on the ship? I believe well, the discussion was in the tower because the tower, yeah. it might well, explode. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So you successfully pry it open and what you see as you're prying it open is eyes opening up <laughs> and teeth and a large tongue. It's a mimic. Mimic. And it attacks you. Awesome. Um, <laughs> and I believe a 17 hits. Yep. All right. Oh, I did not expect a mimic. <laughs> <laughs> always, no one expects Always this. expect a mimic. <laughs> I had a cousin who had a pet mimic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is 10 damage. This is All right. Scott. I'm unconscious. Yeah. Plus another, I'm un I'm unconscious, another six acid damage. Right, it well. bites the shit out of your hand. Kill that thing and then Remington um, it starts no, looking at <laughs> it starts looking at you Xenos um, 
And now it's your turn. What would you like to do? What I like to do? <laughs> Shoot the necklace of fireballs. Are you around. there? No. <laughs> I mean, I cast bless or uh, guidance yeah. on him, but it would have oh, okay. could have been a, a minute prior. I don't have to be in the room. But Ren is oh. definitely not there. Well, I am there you were because, down in the. Well, when you oh, said that. that when you said that mending wouldn't work on the crap, then I wouldn't spend a oh, whole yeah, day up there casting mending if I realized right. that right. it's not crap. But so, would so. you have gone back to the ship with Corbin, or would you hang out with? I would have. Well, wait. I would have been wherever the captain is. When okay. the rowboat came back with the two chests, we would have taken the chest that's locked out of the rowboat so we could try to open it. Yeah. Why? I believe the chest go back. I believe the, Corbin left no, you guys with put the, the rowboat. You were, and said you that opened was, that shit in the that tower. That was before <laughs> we realized that we could, you couldn't lockpick it, and so we decided we were going to open it off the boat, so that way if it said explode into a fireball like 40 other things <laughs> in this goddamn place, yes. it didn't destroy the ship. Well, right. No, I, I understand that. Honestly, could have taken one it of your better there. thoughts, Captain. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Well, that's so, weird. So it just now we've entered a dimension where Remington <laughs> yeah, is uh, Remington complimenting the captain. Yeah. So we have Are this feel, this thing yes. there, oh, right? You're yes. next. <laughs> and, and I was I was next to it. You were next to it. And, and oh wait, wait, wait. No, and, put this one there. Oh, this is the one. Oh, yeah, that's but the, that, that, that makes that, more sense. It's not that thing anymore. It's that thing. All right. And then Cirque and then, is uh, where's Cirque? on the ground. Well, where's this mini? Oh. Oh, right here. Over there. All right. Can we put and the camera on this? Where's Where's the rowboat? The rowboat's over. The right. rowboat's at the ship, I believe. Yeah. Corvin, well, did, did you? Why would you guys have gone back when ship. we were going to open the chest? I mean, you who's guys coming back for being us? just Corvin. So you went. You took the rowboat all by yourself back I to the said, ship. I said I'm going Stop. back to the boat to get my boo boos looked at by my boo boo. <laughs> and to brag. And a maybe bit. send somebody okay. back with the boat. All right, so how are you? Yeah, here? you've got sailors right. that you can send. Yeah, out. he would have been there, and I would have been there. All right. Well, All right. There. All right. So like that? Yeah. So All right. Excellent. So um, this is gonna work out well. So for me to move back is that that's a move, right? To move. Away. Uh, are this, you gonna disengage, or it, are you going to move you, back? If you use it as your action, you can disengage and oh. not get opportunity. <clears throat> if you just move away from it, it's nuts. gonna hit you. It's gonna bite you. Um. Wait, I did not advise thee getting bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, Stop. Can I borrow Stop. one of those? Yeah. Those are not being used. All right. So <laughs> I'm going to put a flaming sphere right here. <laughs> okay, so you're going to cast a spell to put the flaming sphere there. Yep. Is there okay. Is that, is that going to uh, trigger an attack opportunity on me when no, I do? No. As okay, we good. previously discussed, you do not Just get an attack opportunity. So how far did you get spell. back from it? I didn't. He did oh. not. He's a Jason. Um, Does flaming so sphere do damage to things that are Jason? The creature... Uh, <gasps> Yes, please do. Yeah, please do kill Cirque. Yeah, because I'm unconscious <laughs> on the ground. Yeah, no, I don't means do that. All I right. just take a death saving throw when I get hit. That's true. Also, um, when you uh, when you get attacked while you're uh, unconscious, it's an automatic crit, so it's actually two death saving throws. Awesome. Oh. Well, then I'm not gonna. Then I'll just step back. I will disengage. Yeah, okay, you disengage. Prepare, and prepare to uh, put the fireball. All right. Mike, Where is he missile? Cirque needs to make a saving throw. Wait, isn't it twelve? Me? Yeah, Next. you made it. Or no. Oh, okay. That's fair. Okay. Corbin, are you climbing up the, the uh, I, I don't ladder know. Did I get the to deck? the ship? Or? Sure. Sure. I, I mean, I'm climbing up, and I hear people go, bah. Well, I mean, Bosh. I don't know. The, <laughs> you, you heard uh, uh, kind of a roaring noise, and then uh, Cirque got bit. How um, far away is the ship? Um, it probably, because you don't want to have the, uh, the ship slamming into the rocks. It would probably be... A few hundred feet. Yeah. But yelling distance. Uh, but yelling distance. Oh, well, I'm on, like, the ladder climbing up. Yeah. Just lean over and the black crossbow will appear. Okay. I'll take a shot at it. All right. As All bonus right. action, I'll move the hex to it. No, uh, I feel better. Please, please miss. Get hit... <laughs> The first mate. Hey, wait a minute! You're a dick. I just oh, wait, what? <laughs> does a nineteen hit it? A nineteen does it. Sweet. I was hoping that the mimic would get aboard the ship. Because that was and then just turn fun. into like a mast. <laughs> no, it's just to <laughs> eat everybody. Put it in the hold and slowly the eat crew. your crew. Nineteen. Nineteen points of damage. Nineteen points of damage. All right. And then I'm yelling back. What did you do to Sir? <laughs> and I disappear the crossbow. Remington killed him. 
All right. Well, I was um, thinking about saving your life a second ago. I don't know if it goes since we're saying things like that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say anything because he's dead. Uh, I'll take three attacks or against him. Or on his way to. Okay. First one's Wherever a 17. Go Second one is a 17. <laughs> that also hit. Uh, last one is... You don't go to 14. Uh, 14 will also hit, so three hits. Fantastic. Go to open yeah, yourself. How good, how good Mr. Herman Cross is. He's so great. I feel like uh, he's pretty... Uh, like, he's kind of captain material. Seven, yeah. Yeah. seven damage on the first attack. Seven damage on the second attack. So 14 damage so far? No. <laughs> Oh, uh, I have this uh, shanty about the Tavern of Magnamar. Seven damage in the last. <laughs> wow, twenty-one damage, man. It's still standing. I mean, it's like Corton's, or uh, it's like it's like Mr. Remington's made to captain the ship. No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Red. I feel like I'm captain. Step material. up, turn into a bear. To <laughs> and we've established before, Bite. you poof into a bear. <laughs> poof. Twilight Ooh. style. Bite, and I miss with the claw. Okay. Is that how they changed in that movie? Uh, ten. Um, all right, you do ten damage. Uh, all right, so now we're to Sarsarel. Uh, it needs to make a wisdom save. And does it have disadvantage on those? Or I don't believe it's it. Hex on it right? I, I think he's too far away to hex it. Oh, oh wait, no, you did move the, the hex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. uh, that's right. So, yeah, no. No, I'm kidding. Not gonna save. I mean, if a twelve saved, that it was its not. better of the two. So it so. takes six damage from. All right. All right. So it's going to make its attack. All right. You know what? It knows it's gonna die. Um, it's gonna attack shipwreck. Of course it is. <laughs> um, so that's just two saves I have to make. Oh, that no, just counts as two fails. It's yeah, gotta, it counts as two fails. It's gotta hit you first. It does have to hit you. Um, that is a 14. That's not going to hit. Nope. Well, does it have advantage? I did roll advantage. Oh, okay. So, erase those. It three. tries to hit you. You're still alive. Xenos. Um, I'm going to blast it with a firebolt. And can you heal your brother? I can stabilize him. Well, I can heal be, him. That would be fine. <laughs> That's a 17 to hit it. That does hit it. Right. Do you do two damage? I did 10 Wait, damage your brother was it. on the ground and you attacked the mimic? You only mimic? do two damage to it because that's all health it has. It's burst into flames. <laughs> yeah, he goes, oh. I fail. All right. I stabilize you. Spare Once the Once combat ends, yeah, I spare the And then kick him into the ocean. <laughs> no! <laughs> I roll him gently. <laughs> I now come back as Ember. I offer chosen. you. Aha, uh -huh, oh, you! Yeah, more I'm chosen crazy. than you. <laughs> all she right. likes me more than Mr. you. Mr. Remington goes, Captain, this is poor planning. He takes off his hat. Drops it in the water and it turns into a longboat. And I go, would you like to come aboard? <laughs> <laughs> I will inform you this is my ship, so this is, I'm the captain. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets in and goes, isn't that property of the ship? No, no it's hat. property of hat. Mr. Remington. <laughs> no, but isn't the hat property of the ship? Aren't you nope. property of the ship? <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's pretty cool. What's happening? Uh, what are we doing? Let's get on the boat. He's going to row us to the... Hat. Did we kill the Mimic? Much yeah. All my other characters Who killed the Mimic? Like uh, I did. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence there. I burst it into flames. So who's with, carrying I mean, my body? The mimic, or is it just... Uh, I go just back to human form, firm bulk form, and I throw you on my shoulder. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. I throw you on my shoulder. I'll go ahead and I'll heal you. Okay. Well, right. so let's get back. Plus. Welcome aboard the SS Salty. <laughs> <laughs> Just row the boat. Just oh, uh, you know what? I think Just we're going to stay here for a little bit, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember taking orders from you aboard my own ship. <laughs> Try opposite day. Please, we should That's stay fun. here. That's fun. It's a lovely spot. <laughs> oh, we like this spot. <laughs> I do. <laughs> 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 so eventually, you guys all get aboard the ship. Hooray! Yep. I, all right. I turn to his bat and I put on my hat, and it's wet and going down his face, but he doesn't care. <laughs> so let's check out the uh, the treasure chest salty. that we brought back. <laughs> Just What's in there? Out. So there is a hundred gold pieces. The unlock okay. chest is also seven thousand copper pieces. That are all mimics. <laughs> 7,000 copper? It's a swarm of mimics. <laughs> <laughs> they just do damage to the ship. Um, there's uh, 12 the gems worth 100 gold pieces apiece. There's some diamonds in there um, and some sapphires. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 
what? Is it significant that there are diamonds and sapphires? I mean, spell components, but... Mm. Are you spending that shit? Yeah, spend it. Who uses spell components? Who uses diamonds for... Resurrection. Play where he's dead? Oh, Meh. never mind. Don't we worry about none that. Of that shit. We're not gonna and then die. there is the necklace and gods, the coat. Okay, let's <laughs> the necklace. Um, it's a necklace. It has spiraling shell, spiraling shells on it. Um, would it be Arcana? Is Arcana. It, is it magic? Yeah. Are you using detect magic on it? Yeah, they're magical. Oh, the, all three items are magical. It's nothing. <laughs> wow! Oh, that's it's so good. Magic. <laughs> All three items are magic. Okay, so what is it? Is there identify or how do we? A, well, if you spend? had asked um, Shambuckler to teach you identify for money, she would have taught you identify. But you don't have identify, so you can't do that. You get a price. You can right, you can try to use Arcana on them, or you can spend time to try to attune to them if they're attunement. Um, and if you do then um, you know the properties of them. However, if they're cursed, then yep. you are cursed. you're cursed. You said Arcana oh. to figure it out? You can try to figure it out. Just put Arcana. it on and see what happens. Well, What's why don't I first use Arcana to try to figure it out? What do you do? I'll give you advantage on it. Okay. All right. You guys I'm, are working together? And I'll give you guidance. You guys are doing oh, this okay. on deck in the captain's quarters? Captain's quarters, I think, to go through those items. Well, sure. I mean, the first step. Well, I have to see the ship's doctor. Okay. Well, then I can know. Okay. You need sexual healing? I just need healing, actually. But, but however, it needs to be administered as well. <laughs> what, uh, what kind of story do you tell Handsome Maisie when you go to see Well, her? I had been kind of like talking to her as I climbed up the, yeah. the thing. <laughs> did you see the heart? She shot? did that see. That was crazy. And then I hear a roar. I'm like, hold on. Wow. <laughs> 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 What'd you guys do to Cirque? I can't leave these guys alone for a minute, and I throw the crossbow away as it disappears, and I keep climbing up the rope. You know, for a fat bastard <laughs> who drinks a lot, you are dead sexy. You know, <laughs> I like to think I'm a lot more like fat bastard. You're the, quite the bad boy. <laughs> um, yeah, she'll belly. she'll give you some healing. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. I don't remember eating that. So you'll be healed up by the time we get back to the boat. Because it takes us a while, and you know, well, that's she's only, salty here. She's yeah, only got, salty. like, Three spell slots total per well, day. Well, that's fine. It's just you're going to have to make a roll at disadvantage because of the wakes coming off this shit. <laughs> it's a lot of man moving. And um, rhythm. Fortunate. Yeah. Surprising rhythm. So that would be 12 <laughs> and 4, 16. Doesn't matter, Mike. <laughs> no, no, it's the, uh, are you, are you refilling one of her spell slots? <laughs> 18? Mm. It's not, uh, it's not, it's not 16, it's 16. Mm. Just for hours. So, it's just for hours. It's just, terrible. Um, terrible, terrible, terrible. The fan is, a, is called a wind oh. fan. I mean, however many hit points you okay. give me. <laughs> That's what you get. That's it? Yep, I'll okay. give it to you. Thank you. What's so, the other one? Uh, there you go. I got a negative of fireballs. Two. Yeah, he's got two. Wondrous two item. Uh, while holding this fan, you can use an action to cast Gust of Wind spell. From it. Once used, the fan shouldn't be used again until the next dawn. Each time it's used again, before then, it has a cumulative 20% chance of not working and tearing into useless non magical tatters. Okay, it's like you have a magic item that helps being a captain now. Yeah, yeah. like you can make. Gust of wind. Well, mm -hmm. you can make the ship move when, when there's, there's no, no wind. wind. Mm hmm. Oh, if Gust Sorry, of Wind would actually carry the ship. You don't know how to the sail ship. the ship. If there's no wind... <laughs> I, I, I saw enough oh, to get an idea of how, the, how it works, awesome. but thank you for no, that. Freaking awesome. All right. All right. Yeah, so, you feel, like, you awesome. feel like you've got like a quarter of a proficiency in water vehicles now. Okay. Because you've gotten a lesson. Oh, okay. on how <laughs> can, I, can I write that down? Proficiency, one quarter. One quarter. Point 0.5, which you round down. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So that's or that's it. Well, that's what you get. Uh, you can you can now spend time to attune to the other two if you want. Um, <clears throat> or pass in that out. in the spell book that I um, rescued from the goblins. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if I was identify in there. Identify was not in there. Okay, I know because I gave it to Shembuckler specifically so that if you asked for it, she would have it. Mm. And you didn't ask for it. Crazy. So you hear a knocking I, at the door. I go open the door. Yes. 
Mr. Uh, does is there? the captain have when we're going to set sail back so we can get back to the port to the actual captain and <laughs> split up loot and do what pirates do? We haven't even got No, no, um, this was a pit stop. Mr. We got Remington? more to do. Mm -hmm. Come inside. We are fishermen? <laughs> really? Fishermen? What? Well, you knew there were. You, Mr. Remington knows that you guys are fishermen. Currently, uh -huh. on, on this, uh, this voyage, you're mm. adventurers. Mm. We're not pirates. Luckily, we're not we have pirates. all these. Fishing nets over here. Yes. The ones and made have... out of kelp? Yeah. From the sea devils? Mm. Those are probably rotted by yeah, now. Yeah, probably rotted. Not did too much. Luckily, we also, you know, play all those games fishermen play, like pirate darts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do play pirate darts. <laughs> Everybody plays pirate darts. That's a fun Nobody game. plays pirate darts. Well, not so anymore. Not anymore. Very much. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> you're, you're, you're welcome. Thanks, Mr. Smee. <laughs> Ah, uh, back to the crow's nest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll help us get underway. I'm take Thank you. I am the Oh, I um, wanted to uh, promote you to uh, sailing master. Okay. I appreciate that. You're master of sailing. Mm-hmm. And navigating. It. And navigation. Okay. Wow. That works. That's impressive. And piloting. Don't make me turn you into could, a bear. You get to Did be sailing master for the whole extra less of this trip that we have before we get back to the actual captain who gives out promotions. <laughs> yeah, he promoted me. So shut up and Promotion get back. Promotion is a strong word <laughs> for <laughs> one trip. You get back to work. You how got many, decks to swab. How many times Trial? have you been the captain? Multiple. Multiple. <laughs> Actually, didn't he, wasn't he been captain, captain a few times? He was yeah. captain on the way uh, to <laughs> yeah. the first adventure. Uh -huh. yeah. That's true. He was. When we <laughs> picked up the sea sage. Yeah. And then he fell oh, off a rowboat. It's kind of embarrassing to fall off a, a rowboat. Almost as embarrassing as the sailing. So you take a long rest. She got the silence. The hard is taking a long rest. So. Uh, during your long rest, you have another dream. Uh, this time you're trekking through a dense jungle. Uh, you look up to the tree line to see the same ruby red beam penetrating the royal storm clouds above. And then you are in a clearing. This is kind of dream time where it's like quick cuts. Right. Um, where you're facing off against a massive metallic creature who walks on two legs and has a mouthful of jagged metal teeth. Uh, once again, the, the sheen shifts, and you are on top of this creature. This time, laying your hand, uh, it's laying on the ground, and you're pulling something from its back. Uh, eventually, you wrench it free uh, and lift a long pole, the length of a spear haft, into the air, and you wake up. Am I making an instant? Kind of like trying to eat this stuff, right? He said zip. <laughs> yeah, you can make an instant. <laughs> yeah, you definitely got that bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. That is a, a strong sturdy bowl. So, um, Gross whatever, was that whatever <laughs> Umberly is pointing you to well, is clearly on that island. Is <laughs> clearly on the island Obviously that you're heading to. Right. And is somewhere <laughs> on the island itself in some kind of dense jungle. Okay. Finish um, of the fittest. And <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's trademark. You're going to pay me for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nickel. <laughs> I'm making another yeah. shirt. So that's, that's what you know. Selling bad boys. I need to get paid. Yeah. Finish of the fittest. That's going to be the shirt. No. But I don't have any inside as to what Why the pole is. No, that's that. I'm playing, playing it. Uh, uh, well, I mean, it could be part of a pole span for uh, my, uh, the half of a trident, maybe. <laughs> is yeah. that a seat wave? So. Sure. So now what are we doing? You're having dreams? Yeah. Another one for five. So that's, that's what you know. Everyone. Is anybody yeah. messing around with the, the two magical items that you have left? I'm oh. keeping them in the captain's How long does it take to until I learned an hour? What do they an look hour? like? A necklace? There's a, a necklace with spiraling shells. Uh -huh. And, and there is a shape. magnificent coat with, with gold, gold buttons. buttons. Which Zenos is really on. tempted to put the coat on. I'm going to put the coat on. I'm going to use Are you guys going to fight over the coat? No, if you want to put it on, that's fine. But otherwise, Corbin's going to put it on. I'm going to take the necklace. I have a girlfriend. And I'm going to give it to Rin. You're going to take the necklace of fireballs? Go, yes. go for it. To the rent? Okay. You now have a necklace of fireballs. It has two beads on it. give this to Poe? Or is Poe or... Gunner. Poe's no, Gunner. The, not the Gunner, the... Uh, Hold on. Let me get to the, the crew. Hold on. Nevermore. Yeah. You want to give it to Nevermore. Can okay. you go find Nevermore? Because you know the difference between those two birds. I do not. Wow, that's, that's okay. really racist. Pretty easy to tell. They all look alike to yeah. you, huh? They do. Well, the Corbin, you're great at this game. <laughs> 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 I 
I'll track down. Hey, there, which never one more. are we? Which one am I <laughs> tracking oh, down? Oh, that's, oh. <laughs> never, never more. more. Okay, and why am I tracking down? You just quartermaster. Okay, I'm gonna go track down him. Okay, I put the fancy it's necklace of fireballs. I don't want to. I tell him it's a necklace of fireball. Yeah, and um, hand that down then, and I'll attune to the other necklace. Um, you put on the coat. And you put on the necklace. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good thing I'm not in the room. <laughs> I'm fine with this. That's a great item for Corbin. <laughs> Bonus to charisma saving throws? Or no. a disadvantage? What was it? Well, it's called <clears throat> Magnificent Captain's Coat. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling, but I... Yeah. I mean, it gives some really cool bonuses. Like, mm-hmm. really cool like neat things and then at the bottom there's this throwaway line about granting its wear proficiency to water vehicles so, that's <laughs> about to get to so you come out wearing that magnificent coat i mean you look like you're a captain of a ship <laughs> <laughs> here you go buddy oh thanks put that on would you it does All require right. so this is the first time we've used a tuned item so you have three items that you can be attuned to okay Total. Okay. So once you attune to an item, you get all the, the magical powers. If you okay. if you hand it over to somebody else, like say Cirque just got a necklace of an adaptation, which allows him to breathe anywhere. Um, I hang if, out under the ship. If <laughs> Sarsarel is is drowning and you throw him the necklace, they then after it. an hour he can attune to it, <laughs> and then he can so breathe as long underwater. As your constitution's good enough. <laughs> you might actually so, live. So now that I, so I've got two magic items at this point. What's your other? Or, magic well, I've got the oh yeah, the spy yeah, glass. that's true. You and got I've got two. the captain's coat, yeah. and then there's also this wind fan. Does someone else want the wind? The wind fan, fan is not an attuned item. Oh, sure. it's not. It'll say attunement on it. Oh, so there you go. So you can have all of them. Oh, gee. You're just loading Xenos up. Just loading up. Wind. Yeah. <laughs> Super useful. Just remember who gave you the captains. I will remember that. So um, as far as the seven thousand copper and the hundred gold coins. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That could uh, split up between the crew at the end. I was, what I was, well, I was thinking about doing it now. No, let's wait. We got a we got whole t- rest of our adventure. I know, go. but should we, we share into, some of the loot with well, the, with we the pull crew into port, and that might help with... When we pull into port, tell them when we pull into port, that's when you, you chip some off. Tell them that we got some. All right. And then... Frank, how does we, it work in the, the Navy when you're saying... <laughs> uh, yeah, because they, they... Do they get paychecks regularly or only when they go into port? It depends on. Well, there's nothing to spend Sorry. money on. There's gambling while... on the ship. No, there's oh, things yeah, to spend money on the ship. <laughs> so we can give them. Well, I say give yeah, all that so copper out. How, that's, since I've been on the ship for a while. That's almost three, three gold in work in copper each. Uh, Jib pays people off of. Well, so when he was a pirate, Jib paid people off of the uh, the scores when they got back into town, because usually they would be selling scores. Mm-hmm. Um, when they were um, fishermen, it would work the same way. You, you pay money out of the money When we get back money to you make. town. Yeah. Because that makes sense. It's not like all of these fishermen are going to be going to the island that we're probably going to be fighting stuff on and trying to buy stuff from from the hostiles. I'm just thinking that giving them some treasure might help in the whole promoting or supporting Xenos' captain because they're seeing treasure. Yeah, they're they're seeing that they're getting. Doug, uh, why don't you roll percentiles for me? (laughs) Well, would it be insight to know if that would be that's a 50%. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Um... So as you're kind of debating this, uh, two crew members get into a fight outside. <laughs> they just start beating each other up. And Remington's right there. Well done, Remington. What'd you do now? Well, I thought I Remington. Asked I asked no, Remington, them to Remington's see the captain. The captain's quarters, right? All right, open the door. What's going on? There's two guys in a bloody brawl. I cast grease under their feet. They slip and fall. All right, did they stop fighting? Uh, well, I mean, they try to continue for just a little bit, but it's they're getting further and further apart. Yeah. So, uh... Um, what is all of this about? Captain, you rolled a 50, um, and that means that two crew members get in a fight. No. <laughs> they, say, right. they say that they, they come up with an argument. Uh, he stole my fish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my fish. <laughs> Sir, cut the fish in half. 
Give me each half a fish. What are you gonna What are you gonna cut it in half with your fists? <laughs> just pull it in half. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. I, a giant downstairs. black great sword comes cleaving down between <laughs> the two of them and splits that fish not evenly. <laughs> And then Corvin drags it back across the deck. Leaving a at, jagged line. Looks at both of them and says, which one of you wants to reach for the fish? <laughs> <laughs> they look sheepishly and they're like, uh, you know what, that's okay. Run. They run. Survival of the fish. <laughs> right. And then the sword disappears. I pick up the fish, throw it overboard. It's a fish. This you wasted a fish. Yeah, you don't want to eat that after my sword cut it, trust me. So, um, what did you want to do with the with the crew? How did you want to pay the crew? Um, well, was, tell them that you'll pay them. Corbin's gonna pull Xenos aside. Uh, you need to be tougher with these guys. All right. You're you're not presenting a very good front. You have to be a mean bastard. You see Remington? Yeah. Remington, come here for a second. <laughs> I come in. Uh, what did you want, Piston? <clears throat> wow. Do you see that? Yeah. I'm gonna gut him for that. Good. But at the same time, Go I kind of respect it. <laughs> <laughs> You're hexed. Wisdom <laughs> saves. <laughs> I can make wisdom saves all day. <laughs> Go ahead and make them. Okay. <laughs> it's probably that. Dirty. You're charmed. <laughs> <laughs> can you go clean the captain's quarters? Yeah, absolutely. I Thanks, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're not like that other guy. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be tougher with these guys. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll prepare charm person tomorrow. <laughs> I am prepared charm person to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You need to slap some people around. Put somebody in charge of discipline. Otherwise, they're going to keep doing all this shit. And you, I put you, be you are now pr um, the, bosun. the bosun in charge of discipline. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm in charge of two things. Drinking and trying to sneak into the medic's quarters as often as possible. <laughs> bosun in charge of discipline. That's I don't want to hear another word about it. <laughs> I'm the captain. I've spoken. That's it. That's Move on. Great I shift deck. my hex. Make a persuasion. <laughs> Wait, make a persuasion. <laughs> can, can Mr. Right, Hamilton well, be over there and be like, oh, that's not a good way to talk to him. He's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be a 14 persuasion unless... Uh, fair, the, I mean, the, he's the, fairly in... Fine. Makes yeah. a fair point that you should be in charge of discipline. I'll However, Grand Bernadette is already the bosun. No. And she yeah. Is. yeah. She, oh, is. she is. She, well, no. there's many... This captain. Uh, so that will anger Remington's side of the ship if she just gets demoted. She's not demoted. Days. You um, can have multiple bosuns. That's true. Oh, and we're demoting people ranks? now. You know, if no, 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 the no, ship, this would never I'm happen. I'm looking at the DM, <laughs> motherfucker. But you're not. <laughs> Jackass <laughs> oh. <laughs> So, um, on, a, on a crew of 20... Probably not. Yeah, probably. I had I had Bernadette down as master at arms, but she is also bosun, bosun, bosun and master at arms. Well, now she's just master at arms, and he's the bosun. So you've demoted. Okay. No, that's she just yeah. lost one title. That's not a demotion. I dislike the fact that you demoted our crew member, <laughs> but I enjoy the fact that Corbin's finally getting the recognition he <laughs> frankly deserves. Okay, I'm gonna drop Char. <laughs> Oh, hold on with this. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was too creepy. I couldn't do that. I had the door open while Remington's cleaning so, the captain's quarters. As you sail on, nothing else happens that day. As you sail on, um, uh, Doug, go ahead and roll percentiles for me. You're, you're assaulted by a, a swarm of seagulls. 88. Okay. Assaulted by it. Um, That's a time machine right there. All right. That's a time machine right there. So, um, <laughs> you... All right, fine. So, as Poe is in the... Well, you would be in there too, right? Yeah, the crow's nest? nest. Yeah. Uh, make a perception check for me. Uh, 14. Okay, so you spot something up in the sky that is... It's hard to tell how big it is. Okay. But you spot something red. In the sky, which is not normal. Okay. Um, and Poe, let, let me make a perception check. Oh, natural twenty for Poe. He um, starts singing a dragon, a dragon. I swear I saw a dragon. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does start singing that. Um, and it's difficult to see how big it is from the distance. It could be very small and not as high. 
Or it could yeah. be oh, very it. big <laughs> and very high. Okay. Is there one over there? There's two. What do you do? Gust of wind. Go faster. Go faster. Go faster. Um, <laughs> all right. So. Don't piss it off. <clears throat> What direction is it going? Is it going in the direction that we're going? No, it's going in the opposite direction. Going in the opposite direction? Yeah. So um, I come down the mast. Okay. And then... As you're kind of navigating down the mast, you look out over the water, and you can see a very big, dark spot out on the water. Okay. Like it is it's casting, moving away from us? It is, is casting it, a big... Is it moving away from us? Yeah. All right. Okay. So I will go. Um, I will go down to. Uh, like when you were a little kid and you're on the playground and you're like, I could bet I could run as fast as that airplane, and the airplane shadows <laughs> moving across the Where ground. Where the hell are you from? I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will go down to um, where I can get an angle. Okay. I'm gonna open up the fan that will shoot us. Um, okay. Faster. Faster away from the show. Okay. Do you tell anybody about this? Um. Well, yeah. <laughs> who's at the Who's at the helm? Me. I yell. Um. You see that? That's a problem. Brace. <laughs> 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 and I use the fan. Okay. So the ship sails very quickly. Um, you use the fan. Just like within probably thirty seconds, you don't see the dragon okay. anymore. Why, wait. Whoa. You ran from a dragon. Yeah. The dragon I wanted to make my sail out of? Red dragon. Oh, okay, never mind. Breeze fire. No, stay away from that. Yeah. I, would, yeah. I, was gonna I mean, being on a <laughs> ship and fire and a dragon yeah, it just no. seems. Especially since someone keeps casting grease on the ship. <laughs> How big was it? Just once or twice. Who saw it? Uh, Poe oh. and, um, and Ren. How big was it? Um, did I get a feel for it with the 14? Mm. I asked Poe. It was pretty big. It was big. Bigger than the ship. The biggest thing I've ever seen. Ah, uh, he says, biggest thing I've ever seen. Which direction was it going? It away was heading us? away, the direction that you were coming from. Hmm. Thoughts? Well, what other islands are in that area? Yeah, I mean, there's islands from. all over oh, the place. So so you, know, you wouldn't really know exactly what's I hate. Well, I, hate. I mean, it's not outside of the realm of possibility. That it went back to where we just came from? You mean where... Well, so it's it was a, the biggest red dragon that Poe's ever seen. Right. And one of the other options was bigger than the ship. Mm-hmm. So it's in between... There's only one cult of dragons that recently got thrown off of the island we came from. Okay. And they're led by a giant red dragon. Oh. Mm-hmm. So, I mean... When I don't have any no, ties. I have then. no ties back there. Looks here. like you're, I mean, last standing order, right? And Corbin goes walking <laughs> into the captain's. Remington uh, starts loudly talking to a crew member. Hey, sir. Remember when we didn't used to have to deal with dragons? Right. I do. I follow. And then I'm going to so, roll out one of the maps mm-hmm. and have him start okay. plotting it out and see if it's really heading back that way. There are several islands that it could, that you're, you have passed on the way. Were they populated? Yeah. Okay. So it could be going, this red dragon could be going anywhere. Yeah. Or it could be going back to the island to decimate where we just came from. I don't really okay. care because I have no ties there. So. Nope. And but if, I do. I, I do. Um, and he does. That's oh, I don't know if I'm in the room or not. I'm sure. Well, I'm no, we, we, we bring we'll the command crew in to talk about the, I mean, the course. What's the strength of a colossal not red the, dragon him, compared but, you know. to that of a god? Um, we'll see. What do you guys think? <laughs> exactly. Go back we'll to see. go back we'll to see. protect the, no. the town, chase the no. dragon, or keep no. going on our keep trip. Going to well, where I we're know going. where my destiny leads. Yeah, where's that? Zip forward. <laughs> so even though you got ties to the town, you don't care about going yeah, back. Yeah, but there. he's had dreams that he's not told anybody about. Umberly has sent him on the quest. So okay, so you you're I about, tell them that. He has the just wettest that. of Umberly. dreams. <laughs> <laughs> so wet. <laughs> So you, you're good with continuing. Look at Mike's face. It's just the one <laughs> eyebrow. Just like <laughs> the people's eyebrow. <laughs> what about you? What do you think? Keep going? Or go back to try to What would we do if we found the colossal red dragon? Die with everyone else. I find so that the How is that helping oh. anyone? Loot the, uh, 
Let's go gain strength. Hey, how okay. about we go to where the dragon is not? All right. That I, sounds like a sound plan that a captain would make. <laughs> <laughs> You're not in the room. I don't want to die. <laughs> That's a really nice jacket. Thank you. You look a lot more like a captain than Thank you. Have. I'm feeling very much more like a captain. Go out on the deck and say, He can pilot the ship going, now. Too bad you don't have a Probably stole it. <laughs> Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Probably guy stole it. <laughs> I do probably. need a captain. Actually, stole. it was a gift from me. It was. Which Thank we you. stole from some of our pieces. Well, okay. we didn't steal it from Harpies. Oh, we liberated Harpies stole it from somebody else. So, um, keep on moving. Keep going. Okay, so you're sailing up. Uh, yep. Doug, I need you to roll me a percent. Okay. Dear Journal. 48. <laughs> 48. Oh. Survived um, a red dragon encounter today. <laughs> Day 47. Okay. Narrowly avoided red, red dragon, dragon encounter today. Uh, <laughs> so, late in the day, uh, well, as, 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 you're, um, as you're sailing, uh, Nevermore approaches you and asks you about your plans for the Tempest. <laughs> so, he phrases it in kind of a uh, Juki from uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse kind of way, uh, because he can't really speak; he can only so mimic. Just for the sake of my immersion, what does that what does that sound like? <laughs> t -t -t Tell me, Zenos, <laughs> what are your plans for the ship? And then he says the magic, the day's magic phrase, oh. and then everybody screams. <laughs> <"Wah!" laughs> <laughs> Um, well, my plans are to take the ship and to gain notoriety and prestige in the, in the area, to mm -hmm. gain treasure for the crew, mm -hmm. and um, to explore. Okay. And um, I will, would it be an insight to figure out how to communicate with him so that he would understand all that? He understands. He, understands. Okay. Yeah. he only communicates back in weird ways. Would it be yeah. persuasion? Could persuasion? Persuasion? Yeah. Oh, no, that's not very good. That's only a seven. Uh, he asks uh, if you have plans to become a pirate lord. Well, one step at a time. <laughs> pirate lord does sound good. Pirate lord Xenos, yeah, that sounds good. But so you would know that a pirate lord commands several ships in a fleet. Xenos... Let's let's master the captain before we worry about becoming a pirate lord. All right. <clears throat> now you would know because you can insight check. You've you've yeah. Go ahead and make an insight check. Because I know what's happening here. Because I pay attention. Oh okay. Well, <laughs> you've written notes. That's right? seven. I have written notes. You hmm, whatever. You can talk to him later about what. Mm -hmm. I, uh, never more. He nods, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah. And he, he walks was, away. Never, I've written something about Nevermore it. wants to be a captain. Nevermore. Oh, that's right. Bigger. He wants to be a captain. That's right. So if you're a pirate lord, maybe you could let Nevermore know that you'll need faithful Cap captains that's true. That's under true. you. But that's only if you're paying attention to what's happening in the show. If he cares about other crew members, you mean? <laughs> So Maisie, and the influence he might have involved. Maisie approaches Start Corbin. casting some spells? And um, she wants to know more about Corbin. So she asks you to for a little bit of idea of what your personal history is. Where are you from? How did you get to be with this a crew? <laughs> so big. Why are you so fat? <laughs> How are you so fat? The drink. Oh, yeah, the drink. The drink. Um, I've been sailing the seas for over 10 years. Um, I look for adventure. I look for magic. Do you tell her where you're from? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell her I'm from Cormier. Okay. She says, ah, the purple dragons. And then I look down at my longsword oh. and be like, She's suitably impressed by your purple dragon longsword. As only purple dragon knights have that, she assumes that you're a purple dragon knight. Or at least I mean, at one point I've were. Been, I've been lots of You've things. been known to be a purple dragon. <laughs> I've been, <laughs> He's I've been lots guy. of things throughout my, my years. I felt for, to live a long time. For those who may not know what a purple dragon knight is, you, all of your characters would know because mm -hmm. you are... Uh, 
in the region. So Cormier is kind of like Gondor. And to be a purple dragon knight is to be basically a paladin of uh, Gondor in Cormier. Cormier. Well, I'm trying to... <laughs> um, so they're like the, the martial force of Cormier. Um, Interesting. So as you're sailing into the evening, you come across the embers of a ship that is still kind of burning, um, but it looks like it has died down quite a bit. Um, but it is, at one point, it was thoroughly ablaze. Survivors, um, dro drop anchor um, a safe distance back. Okay. And um, ready the longboats, sir. Yeah, just jump in the water. I jump in the water. <laughs> you can now swim underwater. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm going to go look for people. Okay. <laughs> So, make a perception check. <laughs> oh, I can't see underwater, but I can definitely swim. Don't you have dark vision? He does have dark vision. Uh, 14. Yeah. You see bodies in the water. All right, I start. From the crow's nest. Go ahead. I start bringing him up to the surface. Well, only a 10. Throw ropes! Um, 10 is enough to, the there is no ropes. movement. It is I just calm it water, just mm -hmm. um, bodies are floating. They are thoroughly burned. Um, can we tell what kind of ship it was? It was how, a sailing ship. Was it how? Was, I mean, like, it, was it bigger than ours? Okay. okay. Similar to yours. Like maybe a merchant vessel or a fishing vessel. Uh, most of the um, most of the ships in the pirate isles themselves are pirate, are pirate ships. ships. Yeah. Can it's I not get, very safe can for I get other into ships. The hold? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna try to get into the hold. You get it. Look around. Yeah. Um, there is there is a lot of ashes and a lot of what used to be valuable items in here. Awesome. And when I say valuable items, I mean like whatever Tradable plunder goods. that they, yeah. 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 So, and I'll just look to see if there's anything I can snag that could be a value. Uh, make an investigation check. Awesome. 13. Uh, you <laughs> come across um, a bag that seems to have been untouched. Um, and it is... Um, very well made. Okay. Um, with mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> multi colors and um, really fine stitching on it. Okay. So I, I go devouring. bring that and I attach that to one of the ropes. Okay. So I'll start getting the crew to pull bodies. Yeah. Okay. So I, anything I find, I'm just hooking to a rope and they can pull it up and sure. investigate it. So the the um, the ship is still burning or it it's. It's like a campfire at the twilight hours of the morning. Okay. So are we yeah. within, say, 60 feet of it? Or? Sure. Okay, so I can start putting out the fire. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to. Well, I'll use control flame to sure. put out the fire in small portions. Okay. Um, so we can get a crew over there is to see if there's sinking? anything we can... Mm -hmm. It is sinking. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if there's anything salvageable anywhere else, but... No, it seems like Cirque found. Uh, if you take some time to search it, it seems like Cirque found the one thing. That was okay. Sorcerer, do you want to give last rites to these men before we throw them into the yeah, water? Yeah, absolutely. We'll offer these bodies to Umberly and thank them for their service to her. Okay. Is there anything in the captain's quarters, any sort of log or anything that would have survived? Not that survived, no. Okay. Do we have what about the galley? pieces to put on their hands? <laughs> What's that? What about the galley? Nothing survived. Nothing. The only thing, and it's a miracle that it did, but the only thing that survived was a bag. Bag of holding. Right. Do any of the bag bodies of have anything <laughs> peculiar on them before, as we're picking them up to huck them off? I mean, they're, they're bodies in name alone at this point. They're mm, charred. And, well, they're a lot of charcoal. And, cool. Can yeah. you tell any guys detect magic, make sure we didn't miss anything? Sure. Yeah, that's nope. Nothing. Cool. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Everybody's dead. So, um, I believe we're at the sixth day. So, the next day, you sight a island with a, um, the ruby, a ruby red beam that is uh, okay. shining into the sky. Okay. Um, if you're in the crow's nest, go ahead and make a perception check for me. I'll make one for Poe. 19. Okay. Um, you spot that there is a dock, um, and you don't spot a whole lot of activity. Um, but it is 
It is a place that you can park the ship. I call down. Bag was just a bag of holding. Okay. It is a bag of holding. Um, Take us in. Do you want to go check out the dock? Make sure there's nothing there? Sure. <laughs> swim out? Or are you going to take a, a rowboat out there? I'll just swim out. Okay. So I'll you get there. Enzo with him. Okay. Amore? No, he's no. my octopus. octopus. There's no, there's no one by that name anymore. <laughs> Never existed. <laughs> um, Dead to me. Dead to me. Although you can get his stuff on uh, WWE Shop real cheap. Oh. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> you swim out. Um, you find what is kind of a tropical island, small town size. Doesn't appear to be a, anything going on when you get to the dock. There's no activity. There's no other ships docked. Any people? Uh, why don't you make an investigation check for me? And Doug, 16. if you want to make an investigation check, you can. Uh, that's not so good on the investigation. That would, oh. Yeah. <laughs> the Eight. octopus looking around like mm. Eight. <laughs> okay. Um, not that you're going to see. All right. That would be better than at. <clears throat> so, you're going to head back? Event. I'm going to just flag him back. I'm going to Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bring a ship in. All right. Okay. You so can look through the spyglass. Can see see I can, well, yeah, he can navigate and I can steer. And or Grim steer. Bernadette can yeah. drive. No, no, no. He I'm driving show. the ship. He wants to show his old captain. You do have more decks than I do. I'm driving the ship now. <laughs> and I am staying sense. dry in the rainstorm. I'm glad I'm you on the dock. Dry, I'm going to go wander around the town. Okay. So as, as the ship starts to approach, you start to see movement in the town. Um, and you see these frog-like creatures come out of uh, buildings, and they look at you. Hey! And um, hey, frog people, there, are, there are people, uh, there are frog people that go up to start readying the dock for a ship that's coming in, and there are um, malnutritioned humanoids of different races that come out that are, the frogs look well fed. The, the humanoids don't look well fed. Um, but they're not dying. They're just, they're just slaves. They're just not well fed. And well, one of them, more bugs on the island. and then one of them walks up to you and says, uh, why have you come here? I don't know. That's unfortunate for you. Uh, it usually is. Um, some deity you proclamation. Will, Lord Rundeis will need to meet with you. Okay. And he says you should probably wait with your oh, ship. Oh, okay. Um, I'll walk back. So the, uh, the frog Was, it, was that a frog or is it a human? No, it was a human. Okay. Uh, the frog-like creatures start um, doing the normal docking stuff. So they start like casting off ropes onto the ship that you guys can tie off with. Uh, to keep the ship anchored uh, to the dock. Okay. Um, and they basically look expectantly like you're going to get off the ship. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Rangs, I, to, I know we don't always see eye to eye on things, but um, I will keep the crew with weapons if we're ready. This is bigger than Captain. I, I was planning on leaving Bernadette in charge of securing the ship. And uh, Nevermore and Poe to watch. And yes, they should all be armed. The people on the ship or the people on the land? <laughs> <laughs> and he takes a minute and he goes, I don't trust any of these people. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was quite awesome. So, um, you guys disembark. Who are you bringing with you? Taking the command crew. Okay. Um, leaving behind. You're not leaving behind Mr. Remington? No, he's got. No, one. no, he's a sacrifice. I mean, he, he comes back. <laughs> um, okay. But I want, um, as I said, Bernadette, I uh, place her in charge of guarding the ship, She's keeping fine. it secure. She's fine with that. And um, it was Nevermore was up in the crow's nest? Poe was, was oh. up in the uh, crow's nest and Nevermore was on deck. Okay, so I want them both to keep a sharp eye. They're fine with that. And um, work out a way to signal us if they see or see anything that attacks a ship or it looks like it's coming after us. You want to make a surround check for me? I also recover my octopus. Uh, <laughs> what fish you call it? <laughs> uh, survival back in the 21. Okay, so you would know these as bully wugs. 
Okay. They're frog-like creatures that are amphibious. Uh, they're humanoids. Okay. Um, they're just another humanoid race that's not commonly mm -hmm. seen. Um, Do they speak common? And they speak bullywood. Bo oh, bullywood. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you guys get off the mm -hmm. off the ship down yep. the down the plank yep. and. Um, the frog-like mm. creatures appear to be making escorting motions. They escort you towards what appears to be a large pit in the ground. Mm. Um, there is a metal cap over the pit that, um, that they approach. And um, there is a bell that rings when, when you approach. And the pit, the cap opens up. And um, they start chanting rune dies, rune dies. And then uh, a creature that looks similar to this floats up out of the pit. And he says, greetings. What has brought you to my lair? And that's where we'll end for the night. <laughs> cool. Excellent. Excellent. <sighs> Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks. Thanks. Peace. Useful wizard.